There is a world as tangible as our own, impossible to see yet unavoidable to sense. A world enveloped by a seemingly unending ocean of forests. Buried deep in that forest, tucked away neatly within a blanket of twilight, lies a quaint little cabin. And in that cabin... is a bunch of guys. He's a bunch of bullshitter. Should we start this podcast? Well, with you just did now. You just no, did. no, no, no. But I mean with a moment of silence for our deceased friend, uh, Chris. Oh. Oh. Amazing grace. Sorry. Happy Fourth. Sorry, Uncle Sam. Too much. Too TL can't sing. But isn't that what they sing? Isn't that what they sing? Like I think they do that. Yeah, when you're dead. That's what that's we're gonna see that when you get shot in the fucking space, Corey. I just remember him seeing that and like um. Like those old slave movies where they like sing those songs. Slave movies? Yeah. Did I tell the yeah. story? Or see a slave song. They sing it in Django mm-hmm. Unchained. It was great. It was good. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. No, a slave song. Don't, don't, see a slave that's a slave song. song. Make, up one, make up a slave song right now. Okay. <laughs> I dig a hole. Diggy, diggy hole. No! No! <laughs> No! Oh man! Black <laughs> slaves are not fucking watching Yogg's cast and giggling <laughs> on their phone at the diggy diggy hole. Yeah, they are. Official. They're fucking clapping. No. Did I tell the story of the time where, where I ruined a 16 year old's Pussy? parents' funeral? <laughs> no. Nice. This 16 year old guy, I kind of knew growing up, both of his parents died in a car crash. And, and my best friend was invited to the funeral, and I was over in the, no the removal. You know when their bodies are laid down and they're like pale faced. They, they go to the wait, yeah, they go to the hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's before that, and they're you're just kind of in the room shaking hands with the thing. And uh, my well, phone awake. It's called awake. The wake. Here right. it's awake, and yeah, yeah, yeah. it's called removal. You shake but, uh, hands with yeah, I was, I was at, like both of us. You shake yeah. hands with the dead bodies. Yeah, no, you, no, you, you like, give kiss, it a little kiss on the yeah, forehead yeah, yeah, yeah. too. And, but like I went I went to one when I was like younger and this guy was a little bit older he was 16 and both of his parents died and he was everyone was crying and he saw me there and uh, like he knew I kind of knew him and he's kind of like what the fuck are you doing here but I was only there because my my good friend was there and I was in his house I feel like time. a funeral is one of the few things where you can't do a plus one uh, yeah I, I felt like a cocktail party was like a probably friend it's a funeral I don't know I think funerals are a lot of times a plus one yeah, and honestly food. if you were dead would you mind the more the merrier dude if fucking five people showed up I wish they would have yeah, yeah, I guess this guy looked you. pissed yeah, he had venom in his eyes what if your murderer showed up in the raincoat that he killed you in <laughs> like the dude, first he <laughs> wanted <laughs> GG you know, the merrier epic like troll he goes up to you and he's the like the look he gave me made me think the look he gave me made me think, I was like, oh my god, he thinks I'm a necrophiliac just coming here to look at his dead parents. Like, cause he's like, that's got, specifically what he thought. That's, that's the first thing that came into my head. So how did you ruin it? Because my he god. Got he fucked the he body. He onto your wily ways. He knew you were going to fuck the body. He him right now. Cause, cause the last person I dialed on my phone was my friend whose house I was in, who I went to it with. So it like redialed it while everyone was having a moment of silence. And his oh. ringtone was like some fucking really corny dance song that was like, bop, bop, bop. And it started playing like when everyone was quiet. Oh my god. And, yeah. No. That was a fucking Larry David moment. That, Why were you looking at your phone? I wasn't looking at it. It dialed in my pocket. Dude, you're supposed to. I'm telling you right now, you're supposed to turn. It's kind of like going to a movie theater. You turn your phone off, show respect for the movie. I should have done that. three. <laughs> fucking dumbass. Show, you, show, show you, your you don't sit there chomping on your popcorn and it's yeah, like, wake, dude. You're you fucking got, having guys, a moment of silence. Up. You gotta chew the popcorn at the loud part during the wake. Whatever was screaming. I didn't want to go to it. When everybody's howling like banshees over their loss, you're supposed to be clapping like monkeys. You're I kind of knew him. Your so. fingers, then, so you can get some loud slips. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till you have like, a big fart, and that way you can cover up the popcorn with a big fart. Is it the rip ass yeah. while you chew it? And then chew as much Did as you laugh? can. <laughs> then everyone's like fucking crying in the back. Then throw a little popcorn bitch into the fucking dead body's mouth. Jordan. <laughs> If you took a dead body and you fucking put like a like a tennis Kit- ball in his mouth, his mouth and you smacked his cheeks together, well, they pop like, out. Fucking like, head would explode. His head would kick out. <laughs> his eyeballs he's, he's fucking, fucking out his like head. fucking. What if you put like a ping pong ball? Oh wait, no, that that wouldn't work. Well, you, you, put, you need to queef it out. You're right? gonna stick a ping pong ball and fucking slap the cheeks of the dead person. <laughs> no, no, in there. Show up at the funeral just to do that. The heads would just fucking <laughs> cape through his face. I was talking about in there. I was talking about like in the vagine, like just. Oh, you stick it in the vagine. Is that possible? No, there's probably not enough. It's rigor mortis, dude. Yeah, they're they're a Oh, actually, it's yeah, tight it, as a clam. Because yeah. no, but it also gasses up. So you, gotta, like, that gas what you have to do, somehow. you have to massage the top of it to get a little, the little, little like loose, get a little loose, get a little. <laughs> then you can stick the, the golf ball inside and go. Listen, now it's not as bad as earlier. <laughs> like a couple hours ago, we went to Wawa, and I helped door for a few, few people. And and I, saw, I saw a little Asian man. I said, uh, 
uh, he said, thank you. And I said, you're welcome, sir. And Nikki said, that was a woman. It was. It was an Asian woman. But that was, that was a true, actual moment of racism. <laughs> in which, that's probably the, the first time, like, years where I've actually put my hand over my mouth, like, unironically. Why, why, just, why is that racism, though? Just, <laughs> not even racism. I guess more like... Because they all look the similar. I think, yeah, after, <laughs> after age 30. Oh, Niall kind of giving me the sideways glance. I just didn't want to... After, hey, after, okay, like, after okay. like 40, they all just, they lose their gender, and, like, they're, they're just, they just turn, like, the same, like, golem creature after a certain age. <laughs> <laughs> Check They'll turn to fucking ET at age forty-two. <laughs> Not for dude. That's in their seventies. I'm at fucking forties. Yeah, like seven years left. Yeah, man. we got a real. You got a real <laughs> cheek to fucking. Before you start fucking eating some Reese's peanut butter cups. <laughs> Speaking of excellent uh, observations and awkward moments with little ET Asians, we've got we've got lots of ET lots Asians. of fucking questions to hit up. So we need to shut the fuck up. Oh and start shit! Yeah, I forgot. Wow, what you're from from which from which place? I ain't talking about a witch with which with, 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 with curly with curly witch boots. The big. <laughs> Rotten.com, baby boy. Hey! Rotten.com. Mr. and Mrs. Reddit. It's no longer oh. called Rotten.com. It's called something like fucking like Discouragers. This is or... where all the best is. <laughs> all the goods are here. This is this is where it all happens. This is now. where all the funny crunky memes show up. Das Baby asks, what's something that you do that you know annoys other people? Oh, well, I know one for me. Is there something that you do specific? You know it annoys yeah. people, but you do it anyway. Well, when I see someone that's kind of getting annoyed, for some reason I have the impulsive urge to make it worse. Like, I, I kind of try to make is it Is that more, like when uh, you w- when you were streaming and, and Zach was in the room and you were, like, giving out a social security number and Zach looked at you and he was like, don't fucking say it, don't fucking say it. And you were drunk and you are like, I'm going to fucking say it. And then you said it on stream. Way to open all wounds. <laughs> or heal. Uh... <laughs> I, something I do when I'm walking with uh, with, with Lexi is I'll have like I'll just make like retarded outbursts. I just go yeah, 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 just randomly when I'm walking into places. Sometimes just because you know realistically it's probably when I'm at the gym I look too much weight and everyone's like really super fucking jealous. So that's probably you know I'm humble about even saying that one. So you lose weight? I'm just lifting too much weights. Yeah, well I'm making what, retarded what about the sounds. One where you just Fuck. Work, where you just break out into like literally you sound like an autistic deaf person singing in the house yeah. where you're just like. There's a in Africa! <laughs> Nick, he thinks he's good. I never see Africa. Hey, let's do you, Chinaman! I fart. I know it annoys people, but I'm gonna do it till the day I die. You fart hey, in the hey, face hey, again. Hey, 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 Nicky! He opens his mouth. Oh! oh he's so oh, oh, he's oh, oh, say. <laughs> And he opens I don't, his asshole. Alright, also, you know, what what do I do that annoys people? Just tell me. Is it my Donald Duck impression? Okay, I know it's good. Calm down. No, I, I, I love your Donald Duck. Corey, I, my heart flutters like a little boy in, in school. Do you, need a, do you need a taste of it? Corey, give, it, give the audience a little taste. <laughs> okay. It's pretty... I've been working on it. What's, what is he saying? Nine out of ten. He's saying, "Get me my towel." Donald Duck doesn't <laughs> just—he doesn't just do fucking noises. You can make out what yeah, he does. He's you know, supposed he does. to talk. Like. Yeah, he says things. He, like it's English. It's not Niall, like, okay, you're watching the old Disney flicks. The new the, Donald the Duck. Hitler one where he's like. <laughs> Like, what? Yeah, no, okay, meet one. Zach knows that one. <laughs> that is really That's a real one. <laughs> that was like Gollum. That was like Gollum. This fucking. Everyone says I look like Gollum. Nazi now. Gollum. You did it at one. There was one frame that we were like. Yeah, the, the yeah I think I look like the one video. ring. Yeah. Fucking. It's only for like one frame. It's really unsettling. But still, it, just the sheer amount of those comments, like, <laughs> every one of them. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> you're just because your face lines little. up exactly with how his face was contorted in the same exact way. Like, like, what's it, what's, it, what's it, that thing where your legs get really, like, tight together? What, like, it was like an old disease where you, like, you get rickets? really stiff legs. Rickets. Polio? It sounds like rickets. Yeah, polio. Sometimes I walk. Sometimes I walk like I have polio. On purpose? Yeah. Some board. All right. I like, try right. to walk like Tommy question. Pickles. We get it. You annoy <laughs> lots of. You do lots of things that you know annoys people, but you do it anyway. Nick, what's yours? Yeah. What's, what's yours, your, Nick? I, I know it's farting. Oh, it's farting. It's got to be farting. No. Because I literally will just lift my. Like I won't wear underwear. I'll it's lift up my legs. I'll do the splits too. on the couch. I'll go. Hey guys, look at my look at my butt, and then I'll spread my butt cheeks and just uh, blast ass. I can't help it. It's it's an impulse. I'm like I'm like one of those fucking freaky, eating deviants, freaky eaters, freaky addicts. I'm basically eating drywall all day, just fucking spreading my ass cheeks, farting people. Might as well be eating fucking bricks, honestly. You should, yeah, at least you're not fucking you should hire a roommate or, eating plastic yeah. bags that likes and farting. Eating farts. That's true. That's the post- it's an application. I should right just there. start a whole channel where I just spread my ass and just fucking fart into the camera. Oh, you would okay. get a lot of followers. Oh my god, I get a lot of fucking followers. All right, next. Because you We've fart got like a champ. State Aardvark asks, "Is this Sleepy Cabin's last season?" Sad face. You forgot the sad face. Sa- the, no, the three people, two other people did the silence. Their team did sad face and no blend. That's funny. Said, <laughs> said sad face with a tear. <laughs> sad face. Sad face. Guys, we're going all the way to season twenty-five. I'm talking the big leagues. We're good. We, we were thinking about stopping, but then we we're like, you know what? Eh, like, I, you know what? I totally enjoy this. Let's do 
after, I, after I see that damn sad face, we're gonna keep it going, you guys. Get ready. Do you want to try, try to do a parody of uh, season five or season twenty-five <laughs> of Sleepy Cat? Okay, here's what what it's, like? it's like this. And now a sneak peek from Sleepy Cast season twenty-five, starring Psychic Pebbles, Spaz Kid, Nile, Rice Pirate, Dimitri, and Boy Fister twenty-six. <laughs> Sorry. Wow, I hope you guys enjoyed that preview for season five of Sleepy Cabin. Sleepy Cast, thank you. <laughs> Alright, here's a great question, guys. Are you ready for this? This is an actual crocodile asks. Asks. Wait, we do you have any lies? Do you have any lies? <laughs> That you've been secretly maintaining for years. No, the short answer to the last question is this is the last season of Sleepy Cast, as far as we know. Mm. For all we fucking know, everyone's gonna be relocated to the West, and then for some reason we, we reboot it. But for now, everyone's splitting off in every fucking direction. Yeah, because we don't wanna make promises and then it not happening. Yes, so, in like, fact, I'm probably gonna be shutting get... down the Patreon soon. We're gonna announce all this shit later. Yeah, we're gonna By get the our time people hear this, it'll that. already have been announced. Yeah. So, so, so they'll yes, know by then. Yes, episode 30 is the last one of the season. It's probably the last season. Episode yeah. 30 of, right, is the last and season. And there's no reason we wouldn't do intermittent ones whenever we're together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not like we we're opposed to fucking sitting around doing it. It's just that the everyone's splitting so off and they're like, why don't you do Skype? And it's like, dude, no, have you ever Skype. tried to have a fucking Skype Discord, Even Discord. Yeah. Like, it's, yeah. like, Discord's really good, but there's still some latency. Like, I, need to look in your, I need to look in your bloodshot yeah, it's, eyes. It's you need to see. I need it's to easy smell. To, you have to look at the person because then you're directly interacting. Musky scent. You know, to really get the feel of the of the room. I was talking about this earlier, but my, my real thing with what this was like, you know, it, it sh Sleepy Cast is not something that should go on forever, just kind of what the no. format is. Like, the reason we started the podcast was to, was as in between stuff for our work mm. while we, but even the work itself that we were working on or trying to work on was kind of stuff we were doing between like big stuff. Like, we, we all had when Sleepy Cap had started, Sleepy Cast started, everyone in the group had big stuff they were working on. Corey has his game, we have, I have my thing, Mick has his own shit. Uh, Stamper has works at Behemoth, like we all have our own stuff. Like, we said that so many times, and people still say it's like, oh, you never release anything. Well, right, so my point is, but the people need to realize all, all, all of those bigger things for all of us are really speeding up in almost every case, mm. and so we're going to be busy, and to keep a promise to do the podcast all the time is just not, it would just strain us. So it sounds gay, but think of Sleepy Cast like a little, like a little summer camp, like a little intermittent thing that happened. It was a snapshot of our lives. And we're all gonna overdose in LA. And just as a practical fucking thing, it's just so hard to fucking do when everyone's not here. Scattered too. Otherwise, yeah, yeah we're end up with a I mean, we end up with a podcast can, can with we, fucking three people so every Chris, single fucking time Chris by the is, end. Chris is gone. I mean, can, can we say that Stamper's Stamper's insane? been gone? Yeah. Stamper's in San Diego. He, he lives there now. Yeah. yeah. Stamper's gone. Chris is gone. I'll be um, gone. Zach this year probably. Gone. I'm, going, I'm going. I'm going. Nick's leaving. Yeah. Now I'll be gone. Now's gone. The only people, who, only people who are gonna be in Philly is, is me because I gotta work on this game for the next two years. Yeah. And Corey, you can you might relocate. Who knows? I mean, that's totally up the. After the game, who knows what will happen. Yeah, so it's just it's just impossible it's to maintain. It's all going to be at this point. Until, look, the reason we did it here, too, is because it was a solid. We all lived here. It was solid. The other thing I would point out, too, if that makes anyone sad, realize we're, we're not friends because we did Sleepy Cast. We did Sleepy Cast because we're friends. Yeah. So Sleepy Cast dissolving doesn't make a difference. Like, when I we think for to, people being sad, they're just sad that we're not going to do No, I get that. My, po my point is we're all still friends. We're all going to still make stuff. I mean, if you, yeah. like, if you like Power Trip or any stuff, Corey or Stamper put out or anything I made or anything that Chris made, that was all made with all of our influence kind of mixed in there, so that's still going to exist, that's not going to go away. There will be stuff that we do, we just won't be doing Yeah, we're all going to be friends, We've been, I mean, Corey, yeah. I've known you for like fucking six years, yeah, almost, so long maybe, maybe time. longer. To be honest, actually, this is kind of going off what Zach said, is like, things, those things are kind of speeding up, so like, they will be out soon, sooner than later, like, it's... Yeah, no, that, that's like the biggest reason, no. like, like I said, it's a little snapshot of our lives, as gay as that sounds, because it is gay, but... That's like 600 hours of our fucking lives. 600 snapshots. Train, dude. Yeah. 600 yeah. snapshots yeah. Point B, it was like, it was like, it was like a little inter interesting uh, transitionary period between kind of YouTube and the other side of things. So, yeah. but you know what? I would also say this, and I say this optimistically, but realistically too, that Sleepy Cast may not come back as Sleepy Cast, but I'm sure we're going to do a podcast again at some point if we're all on the same coast. Probably, There's yeah. no point in that. There's no reason yeah. to not. There's no re even if it's not weekly, just something. Yeah, you're going to get something. Yeah. All right, cool. Long answer for uh, half a short... joke. That answer, was, half the, half that was the biggest voted yeah. one, though. So that was important. That we well, people wanted to know, so I'm glad we talked about it. Yeah. Um, cool. So an actual crocodile asks, "Do you have any lies that you've been secretly maintaining for years?" Ooh, that's a good one. Lies. Lies. Do you have any lies that you've been 
hiding for I have one. This one's actually probably... Uh, Are you going to be serious right now? I swear to God, it's a real okay. one. Okay. All uh, right. I'm excited. Uh, a couple of years ago, my first YouTube channel got shut down. Oh, I didn't it was know called, It was called The Psychic Pebble because I used to go by Psychic Pebble instead of Pebbles. Okay. So that's why that's why my, my username is switched from Pebbles to Pebble on different things. Back and forth. And I was trying to... This is right around the time that Google was integrating their thing into YouTube. And it maybe had maybe sent with an email address. I wasn't going to do that, so I tried to delete the email address. I deleted my own YouTube account. It was so embarrassed about it that I told everybody that I got hacked or I, I got. Oh, that's sliced. happened to that's happened I to deleted people. my own YouTube account. That happened. So there it is, fucking five I years know. after. I know. I heard it out that? there. Yeah, that's a big. God, one. this is like truth or dare. The, Zach fucking said I had like high 18, there. Fuck. Uh, that was that was the one that like laid on my mind for years. Wow. I was like, I'm such an idiot, but Shit. I can say it now because it happened like five years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. You say those those horse stories and stuff. Uh, like when I heard that that stuff was happening, where it's like really finicky with emails and stuff, I heard like that kind of stuff, like deleting your entire account. I was just like, fuck that. Let this fucking Gmail shit pass. Yep. I don't want to deal with that kind of stuff. Let's think of a lie, like an, an actual that you've told or that you've held on to. That you even, kind of... even if it's a petty one, like something yeah. you give a, a lie. Kid. Yeah, that I've held on to. Yeah, that you you always like. I have a, a minor one, but. Even actually, it's not even. I haven't really hold, held on to it for the longest time. I always told people I never met my dad. That I, you know, that my, he left my parents when I was very, very young. Right. Um, but I've never actually that I never actually met him. But I did. I did meet him once, and it just seemed easier to say that I never met him and because, because they cut off the stories there. You know, yeah, story. rather than like, oh, you did meet him once. Yeah, once when I was seven, and he came. Yeah. Oh, the house. that doesn't really Wait, count. Yeah, and he had a new wife and a new kid, and he took me to Seattle Center. And he got me Trivial Pursuit, even though I was fucking seven and I could barely read. That's right. If you yeah. knew anything, yeah. Say, I think I mentioned it on the podcast already, so right, but for the longest time, I didn't. I never. I never said anything. You know, uh, the other thing I did when I was a kid, I told everybody that my dad looked like Mike Greenwell from the Boston what Red a Sox. Weird, why? My friend was really my friend Sean Cohn, who's a pitcher. He, uh, I, I think he was a, a triple league, uh, a triple A league for a bunch of oh, teams too. Oh, here we go. No, no, no. Anyway, uh, if he, if he was, he was <laughs> he, so he was into baseball, and then I got into baseball cards because of him, because yeah. he was cool, and so I got baseball cards. You know, I'm this fat Asian kid, and I didn't really, you know, I just played video games and ate. And uh, so he got me into baseball cards, and then we'd always like trade because we'd buy them together. And then he'd always like make me give the like he'd be like, "Oh yeah, that card sucks." And he'd like fucking take these cards. They're always like the good cards and shit because he knew I couldn't appreciate any of it. Anyways, yeah. Uh, I guess one day I saw a picture of Mike Greenwell, and I, I thought his his name was Mike. My biological father's name was Mike. Good. And I just kind of put one and one together and kind of created a story. And for the lot and for years and years and years, I just told everybody, "Hey, it looks like Mike Greenwell." It's a stupid lie, but because most people don't know the fact that it is. Like most people, you talk. You know to. what's weird? It's like if I said this, you probably wouldn't believe me, but it's actually true that my dad looks like a red skin uh, David Hasselhoff, who's got a little weight on the face. I, I, I'm one hundred percent serious. He has like, and I don't know where this fucking Freddie Mercury nonsense came from, but <laughs> my dad looks like a kind of red faced, big ish on the face. Freddie, uh, not Freddie Mercury, but um, Hasselhoff. Hasselhoff, David Hasselhoff. I didn't know what his fucking name was until I saw SpongeBob, and I'm like. <laughs> Dude, that's dad. I don't know. The, the, it's a lie. I have to tell you a lie. Yeah. I can't really think of a, a well, even even lie. a small one, like 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 something. So stupid. did you like like hang that baseball card up on your wall and just kind of be like Papa? Like did you? Did you... No, I don't. Because I knew. I, I I guess at some point I probably believed it a little bit. Well, he was a he was a kind of he was a famous. He probably got around with the ladies. Is there any possibility? Gonna, no, there's. I can't no think of like oh I because I, I had pictures of my dad later. Oh yeah. So I knew exactly. What I can't really think of like a, a lie that I've told to you guys that I really. Maybe that's just anybody in general. Yourself. I definitely oh, have. Oh, some, or kids but I can't in even school think of... like a lie you told about your personal I, life. I said I one time I lied to my dad like really badly about my grades to a point where I actually I, I think I might have said this story but I told him because he wanted to see my report card and I told him that. I got lost in the mail, and then they sent him a new one, and I got it before he got it, and I took it, and I ripped it up, and I stuck it in a tree, like a tree <laughs> trunk, and I poured water in it, and then I put fucking dirt and shit on top of it, and the tree was like in another person's fucking property, it was abandoned for years, so... Yeah, uh, I I got a D instead of a B. I lied to my dad that time. What's the longest lie you've told that you just told people that you met for the first time? Just because it was easy to explain something. The or, longest lie? Yeah, like your longest maintained lie. You held on to it for a while. Longest maintained lie. Like someone was like, oh, how'd that happen? Or oh, what's the story of this? You just told a lie because it's easier. Oh, fuck, I don't, I have no idea. That's why you don't have to have an answer. What about you know? I, I, I can't think of it. Of all the of all the topics I've said on the podcast, people If it would, comes to me though, I will say. You know what's funny? All the things they said on the podcast, people would be like, you lied about all that 
stuff. You're a fucking fibber. You're a fibber. <laughs> you cry wolf all the time. I'm 100% serious about fucking water people, the sponge factory. This is legitimacy <laughs> fucking stuff. And it's like, I am so open. I, I literally don't fucking try to lie about anything. Oh, well, one of them was that, but like, this was only like a lie I kept up for like a year where I stole, I used to kind of steal a load of things. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> when I was a kid. You were a fucking kleptomaniac? Oh, no, well, like, it was more like this, this kid, right? I was at a summer camp. And he got, he went to like, uh, somewhere in Asia and got all these like, really cool Pokemon cards that weren't out yet. And he did, he was like, showing off, and he didn't even care about Pokemon, I fucking care, I want to be Pokemon Master. <laughs> so when he went to class, I was like... That's really the secret, that you've like always it. wanted to be a you Pokemon Master. You wanted to be a Pokemon Master, master. <laughs> secretly you have your Ash Cap and you practice fucking your fucking lie Pokemon. you've been living. <laughs> Um, next we've got Rise Against Fan 13 asks, whoa, dude, whoa. are you guys going to shoot more live action videos like Niles Bright Idea or Best Pals? So why is Niles Bright Idea I know, that's so weird, like, like, like Potato Salad wasn't in there, but they yeah, fucking... Yeah, not, like, what? Smash my... That's not... Really that's, that's, that's not... That, why is that considered, like, You know what, I still have Bright work. Idea. I still have the footage from the other thing that you did with Stamper when yeah. we cleaned out the whole fucking office and you guys did the full-blown fight. Oh, man. Which I... wasn't really a fight. They fucking sat around, so this is after he broke the, they were breaking fluorescent lights on their head. Yeah. And so that was the, you just saw the one where he smashes it and then, and Stamper broke one over his head too. But there were more lights after that and we filmed that too. And they were supposed to do a lightsaber fight. That was the plan. And dude, it was like fucking four in the morning, everyone was drunk and I needed to fucking go to bed. And they're like, no, 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 we gotta do this, we gotta do this thing. So they orchestrate and choreograph a fight. They're like, yeah, I'm gonna come in, we'll do that, da da da, and then we smash. Dude, Florida. They fucking, they're like, all right, action. I fucking put on the camera. They just charge each other and just fucking, they both smash their fucking fluorescent lights against each other and everything explodes, the end. But they had this whole fucking thing planned and that's all they fucking did. <laughs> they like maybe did a hop and a skip. It turns you know? out that it's very easy to get uh, mercury poisoning yes. from that. Yes. Which we didn't know at the time. And I spent about six hours after you guys left cleaning that up because that shit is hard to clean. It yeah, so and, and you clean. spent a few minutes picking it out of your face too. Yeah, I, I, I was finding bits for like a week yeah. afterwards. There was blood like all down my face. What's, what's what's the what's the worst case scenario with mercury poisoning? Death? Yeah. Uh yeah, it, it I would have showed symptoms by now though, thank It you. pools up in, in like your liver or something. It pools up in some part oh, you of your fuck body. You fuck. I, I like think I think the symptoms are displayed pretty soon. But that's after you know like the, the Mad Hatter? That's where you got the Mad Hatter from. Was that they used to line the brims of hats? Oh, hats! With mercury, that's right. That's right. And that's where you got yeah that story. You lose, you lose your fucking everyone would fucking go crazy yeah. and fucking like eat their fingers off. Yeah. <laughs> but that's the short so answer, weird. I guess, for videos. Yeah, probably. Right. I mean, not here. Maybe yeah, in LA. Maybe in LA. Something yeah. if we do something that, out there. That's so weird, though. I heard of the whole mercury. I can't say mercury. I would say mercury. But, you know, people used to play with it. Like adults used to give it to their kids to play with quicksilver because you put it in the palm of your hand and it was this metal that was like a liquid and you could like roll around and you could just keep rolling it back and forth between your. Hands, and then some fucking genius figured it out that if you rolled it back and forth between your hands too long, all of a sudden it got smaller and smaller and smaller because it was fucking absorbing into their fucking skin. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Geniuses. Jesus, dude. Geniuses. I didn't even know that. The human race, full of them. <clears throat> Next, we've got Anko Pro asks, What's your own worst habit when it comes to work ethic, and how do you get around it? Oh Pretty god, cool. I would say procrastinating. It's weird, because I always get my deadlines done. What do you do to procrastinate? Dude? It's not, it's what I don't do. Yeah, but do what work. are you doing when you procrastinate? Not, not like, uh, watching videos or fucking playing. Singing very loud throughout the house. Only when I make coffee in the morning. <laughs> And, and shower. I, I, don't, I don't see my shower. Yes, you do. Sometimes. I do. I can Sometimes. hear you in the room. In I'm, my room on the third floor. I'm probably in my own room. I okay. definitely do. <laughs> I always do. Hey, this, Mick. I, with procrastination, it's usually either... No, it's like, what's your worst habit working? No. Yeah, what's your worst... Mine's, but yours could be too, but my... Yeah, my yeah, yeah, it doesn't have to be procrastinating. Like, like if, I, if I have a deadline on Friday or something, like usually Monday will be just me kind of doing a little bit of work, and then like by Tuesday or Wednesday I'll be like, oh shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I always get it done. But uh, it just just and I usually have a huge burst of energy around that time, and I always get. It what done, would you but, say gets you over the procrastination? Just the, fear, the real fear. the reality of just the deadline. The fear, yeah, like fire I, under I, your I, ass. I will not get it done if I don't do it by this day. All the hairs in your ass just. I'm getting better with it, but still, it's fucking hard not to. I have such a bad case of that. Yeah. Yeah. Is that what? What would you say your worst oh. habit when it comes to work ethic? I, I think it's just laziness, and I've only come to terms with it recently. Like I didn't. I called it procrastination too. But uh, mine, it's beyond that. Like, I sit down, sometimes I want to work, and I hate, I hate, like, I'm so angry at myself for not working at that moment. Instead of working, I'm like, why am I working? Why am I, why am I browsing Reddit? 
<laughs> I should be working. You know, and like, I'm so like disappointed and sad while is? I'm still doing it. Like, Sometimes I get sidetracked with porn. But it's not what you think. It's not porn. Like, oh, it's I gotta research. get off. It's just the quote. It's, it's just the quoted TEDx. Uh, it's research. Yeah. It's like I'm like TEDx talk. I, I see something and I'm like, <laughs> I, I feel like I need to draw something and I'll like start sketching something out and I'll be like, I'm gonna practice, look up references and research and I'll do research and it's like, <laughs> next thing I know, I'm looking through all these poses and angles and I'm like, oh, all right. On, on a regular basis, what do you prefer in order to find your poses? Still shots that you Google or I don't Google scrubbing through videos, garbage. scrubbing through videos to find the poses. I use just I use image sites that have like so you do just strictly go with pretty much images. images. I was actually wondering that real life reference. I was wondering how you do that. Real, real life references, references. real life references, and you put your own exaggerated style twist to it. That's all it is. Well, that, just to add to mine, I I'm getting over that. Like recently, I've been getting over. It. Well, have you ever but stumbled I always across try, illegal I always, porn, like children? I, porn. No, fuck no. I never go to those places. But I always try to um, at least try to get one thing done, even if it's minimal, even if it's something. I always try to get one thing of work done a day. Always. Yeah. No matter what, I set a tiny goal. If it's like today, I'm gonna fucking sketch something out. Today, I'm gonna animate and sketch something out. Today, I'm gonna do something. See, that's the biggest thing because if you set like huge, lofty deadlines or goals yeah. for yourself, it's like I'm gonna do 12 things today. It's like, no, you're not. Like today, set one thing. The my the thing I did today my was problem, I, think. I finished up a tiny bit of stuff and I exported it for Jeff and I tested the game. Yeah. So that's what I did. Those are my goals today. I tested the stuff. I. Actually, no, I kind of have an idea of what to do for the next level, and I kind of discussed, like, level... Con I guess I did a lot today. I didn't I don't even realize that I did that. But it's because you said your goal's low. Yeah. Than the high. If you say your goal's high, you're, you're always going to be disappointed. You're always going to be discouraged. You're always going to be... So that would be my number one problem, is that mm -hmm. I always bite off more than I can chew. Though I would say, uh, because we've already spoken about that, another... Well, I guess when it comes to my own work, my worst habit when it comes to work ethic is... Just saying yes to everything. Yeah. So a lot of times, you know, people will be like, hey, I need a voice in this, <laughs> Fuck, bless sorry. you. God damn. Or, hey, I need this, you know, project. I need a website. I need whatever. And my natural reaction is always to yeah, say but yes. Nick, that, that's, like, good, though. I think that's a good thing. Like, that probably got you where you are, too. Because, yeah, like, you know, the problem then is that it's, it can, everything suffers sometimes if I then bite off more than I can chew. Because the only way my schedule works is if everything I do is green lit and everyone's okay with it. As soon as somebody has a problem or they need to like edit or it's like a there's a problem, effect. holy yeah, everything gets backed up yeah. and then it just becomes oh, yeah, it gets mean. really bad. Um, and especially with like the cons this year and everything else and traveling, my whole schedule's been fucked. But Mick, were you always like that? Like I see in your house sometimes just like you have schedules for the day and just like bullet point bullet point. Yes, bullet. I've been like that for a while. That that's that I, I'd love to have like be able to do that. Just I make a list. Uh, yeah, make a lot of them. Lists work actually. I should they do. do that more. List with checkboxes next to the yeah. list. I love, I love, I love checkboxes. I love me some checkboxes. I love me some checkboxes. Yo, I don't just God do checkboxes either. I don't even just hey. do normal checkboxes. Hey. Yo, listen. Hey. I, okay, so if you look at my Google Docs, I got, uh, I'll write it down on paper, but yeah. then I'll put it in my Google Docs, yes. and I have code. I have like little mm. macros, codes. So if I don't do something that day, I actually do a forward arrow. That box automatically, because it has forward arrow in it, becomes yellow, and the whole list all of a sudden is highlighted. You gotta show me how to do that. that day is not complete. You need to show me how to and do then that. Then I'll move it on to the next list, and when I'm done, with it, I'll go back and I throw a dash in it rather than an X because I didn't complete it that day. Uh, but so, so you out, get a bit of a punishment by having yes. a just and then the after dash. it's a dash and not a forward arrow, the whole list is now you're is fucking nuts. Out. You're crazy. Like, you're fucking I nuts. Fucking love. You're you love me so much. Damn. But do you oh, agree though? Like I know this. Is, I, I hope this is not boring. But I'm just saying, when you write a list on paper, do you find that? I think that's better for me. Like I, I like it more on what? paper. If it's digital, sometimes I feel like oh, I can just copy and paste it around. Yeah, yeah. When it's a, I, and that's why even if I have a list written down on my computer, I will handwrite my list again. Hold on to it. I have a whiteboard and post-it notes onto the whiteboard. It sounds weird because I have a whiteboard while you're doing that, but I have a segment to think off like, with yeah. tape. And I have one side where it's just like, do this. I, I write everything down. Each each task yeah. gets its own post-it note. And when it's done, you either X it out with like a red marker yeah. or you pull it off. And, and you see my room. Stuff. I also have like those. I also yeah. It's not a whiteboard. It's a cork board, but it's yeah, similar yeah, yeah. where I have those, those things. If, if, if you guys are like, if, like an artist or an animator or you have any kind of job out there, I would honestly recommend a whiteboard or like, like, a, like yeah. a, a, what's it called? A, a, a cork board. A cork board. Yeah. I wanted a cork wall at some point, actually, which actually is really helpful for a lot of things. If you want to go to like, <laughs> if you wanted to go to like a Broadway show, you print out tickets or you got a plane ticket or if you have a parking ticket, or I, I, just whatever, bills. Just that you could just post things like wherever you're you want. Fucking you're like, solving like, a murder mystery. Yeah, exactly. like, yeah. Everything yeah. looks like a conspiracy theorist's <laughs> yeah. like nightmare. I don't <laughs> <laughs> fucking like look pieces <laughs> of yarn <laughs> connecting shit. I tried doing the whole whiteboard thing and like staying organized, but in the end of it, I was just like, I don't. I'm not organized because I'm always doing something new each day. I stick yeah. to that for a week and then. I so it's like it's hard rough. for me, and also for me, like I'm sporadic. Like yeah. suddenly I'll just be working and then. 
I'll see like a hot picture of a character, I'd be like, hey, now I'm gonna draw this. You know, the one huge negative about having a lot of lists and having you know places where you organize those deadlines is that if you have a lot of them, sometimes it can feel so futile. Yeah. Because like you, you'll stare at that board. And you're and like, I can't do you this. Just your balls you, just shrivel up. Because you kind of think of it as one stomach. thing instead of like a multiple thing. So you're just like, I yeah. can't do this. It all looks. It, it, yeah. When you look at the whole grand scheme of things, it looks so fucking impossible. And so really what you end up having to do is segmenting it off. Like, well, what don't I have to do right now? You know, like these are the immediate goals. And then have them there in the background. But you know what I mean? Like, that's the only way I can kind of stay sane. But honestly, at this point, things have kind of backed up to a critical mass. I need to I need to get some shit off my list. All right, next. Yeah. Next, next, next. <laughs> Vilacious Trogan asks, <laughs> What are your opinions on rotoscoped animation? I've heard some animators consider it lazier and shittier than traditional hand-drawn animation, no matter the situation it's used in. Hey. For those who don't know, rotoscoping is animation done by drawing other it's trace, over it's live, tracing, it's tracing, tracing live footage. It's tracing. Yeah, yeah. It's tracing. I, I think there's a difference um, because, like, you know, like, like, for instance, like the old Disney, the old Disney stuff, like um, fucking the Sword and Stone and Robin Hood. Robin Hood. Yep. Yeah, those were all movie. rotoscope, and it looked really fucking good. But it was done in a more stylistic style. Like they took. They real understood movements. animation, yeah. They, they, yeah, but they took real movements and they applied it to animation. So they used real examples. Well, it's almost like they rotoscoped the skeletons and then animated characters. Yeah, they did. And, yeah. And in my over. opinion, yeah. I think that is way more admirable than simply tracing over something. Like it looks really stylized. Don't get me wrong, rotoscope looks cool in music videos and stuff. I think it could look really but cool. But it looks a hell of a lot fucking better when it's done like how Disney does the it. The one like, problem stylized. I would say is if you deny that you wrote a I was about to say yes. that. Yes. Everyone yeah. knows we're animator. We are, like, people are like, no, oh, I didn't hey, know Oh, yeah, no, people... We, everyone knows. If you wrote you a call scope it the and fucking you deny it, you, no, you look like a fucking, fucking hack. You call it the Especially animator if they can pull up the fucking footage. Yeah. Oh, it's it's the better. fucking animator eye. Like, I see these things all the time. Like, I'm, like, browsing and I'm like, oh, I see a porn loop or I see some kind of, like... Dirty thing. Like that Sonic and Mario it, kissing sex scene. That, that was, was clearly, clearly was drawn. The fucking, but, uh, the 80s. Like, oh, that wasn't rotoscope? No, it was. Oh, they, you, got, they got a real you see, like You see, like, um, <laughs> just like characters fucking and, and their animation is too smooth. There's too much details in areas that you know people yeah. would not It's know. actually the opposite. It's usually choppy. Yeah, it's because really it, it choppy. doesn't have the cartoonish fluidity. Like, sometimes the art will kind of judder because they don't really know how to rotoscope it properly, but you can tell it's the mo it's the way it moves, not it's, the it's actual. A, it's a mixed bag because it's like yeah. sometimes like that, but then there's some people who trace key things of it but you can still tell it because of the the, the anatomy is way too accurate yeah, the and there's no way yeah. there's just some things when you look at an artist and you see like I'm not saying like I'm a fucking genius but when I look at artists and I see like this is their art piece of them doing it and I see their like anatomy and then I see this example and, and their fucking like faces are on point yeah, yeah, and their, yeah. their elbow details like their arm detail stuff nobody thinks about is yeah. super it's usually detailed. the details it's usually like it's the details it's like overly detailed you don't have, you don't have to be fucking areas. like you know you have to be like the best animator of all time to have the no. animator like, or when the like, character has the same face as the animator and yeah, it's yeah, yeah. suspicious yeah. sometimes yeah sometimes you see people like yeah people like record themselves I, mean, I don't even care that much I mean I don't necessarily like it but it's like why do I no, care no it's deny it though no no it's just yeah that would be the one reason why I'd even care most of the time when I see it how would we deny it like Mark M or the guy who did the oh, double no, dragon Mark thing, M, but he's not going to deny it. He doesn't care. No, no. Mark M just, but I, I think when I see it, a lot of times stylistically, I think it's really charming. Mark M does really good rotoscope. It's really interesting. Shout out when to he does uh, it. Sick Animation out there. Yeah, yeah Sick absolutely. Animation. Go check out Sick Animation. Look at his fucking Halloween video. But <laughs> just all it, like all this stuff recently has just been like I'm not not dogging on it, but all like when he does like the realistic like detailed faces and he does like random keys of them talking and stuff. <laughs> yeah. But it's not like it's like rotoscope shots. Like it's like. I'm gonna say a bunch of stuff and then I'm gonna draw over that with a face, but you can tell it's like weird. His rotoscoping adds to the comedy, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, no, yeah. like the style. Because because he draw stylized. like he draw like a character like just out of his head, and then like like on on that like the next frame will just like the proportions are completely oh, changed. No, no, yeah. Or they'll, they'll have like super like there's this one like like I forget there's like someone like Tanya. No, there's like this. It was this new the newest oh. one he did. With like this, like it's uh, also like rotoscoped on sometimes like on the eights. No, like, it's just like <laughs> yeah, it's like eight frames. All the characters it was the thing. Too. No, it, it was the um, it was the Obama thing where like oh Michelle, she's, yeah, she's yeah, doing the Michelle, poem the and then she like fucking sneaks over to like yeah, yeah, Obama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's all like there's like million frames of her like crawling <laughs> yeah. over to him and then it, it like cuts to her Rocky frame. She's like, I know you listening, and then he's like. <sighs> <laughs> it's over. It's just like, <laughs> yeah, that shit. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Where it's like the rotoscope is used very weirdly, but it looks really good. I love to meet him. He, he seems like really funny. He's yeah. a swell fella. Swell fella. Speaking of swell fella, we've got Grubby Ape. Grubby Ape. 
asking, what's the most uncomfortable situation you've been in? This one right now. Uh, uh, wait, most un- wait, 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 I have a recent one. It's when I, I was downstairs, uh, and I, I came downstairs, and there was a bunch of guys, Zach and, and, and Corey, mm. and a bunch of people... Uh, I believe now you may or may not have been there, but everyone was watching cringe videos. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they kind of migrated from cringe to kind of like almost weird fetish videos, like butter fetish and, <laughs> and diaper fart fetish, like full diaper. It may have been. Full diaper, not just normal diaper. It had to be a full it, it diaper. Was, it was diaper full. Yeah, but diaper the, the full. only problem with these videos is you have to sign in. Yeah, well, oh, no. See, this is a different situation. You're talking about last night, okay? I'm talking about another time this happened, okay? Because this happens diaper? all the time. And, and all of a sudden I realized... Zach had the controller in his hand, and every time they watched one of these videos, no. wait, wait, wait. he would fucking he would he would push down or something, and all of a sudden this little menu appeared where you could thumb up a video, and he kept liking these videos. I was like, oh, I didn't even know you could do that on our app in the house. Well, what was happening was it was like two or three weeks ago, and everybody the whole the whole class was there. Clapping and they all brought their popcorn and stuff for fucking snack no, day. Laughing. And I was typing in fart it sounds. Cr- it was cringe day. I was typing in fart sounds and like ass sounds. And it was like a couple issues of guys going. <laughs> <laughs> and I was clicking like. I liked like 45 videos. Uh, and because- also, I'm sorry, at some point he had the deaf guy talk, uh, fucking kissing his yeah. mom's corpse. Yeah, and- <laughs> And I clicked back and it was like, what channel is this on? And he was like, <laughs> he had like a panic attack and he bolted upstairs. And he fucking, he, did it, he, he said his Twitter he just feed bolted. was full. He's just like, kind of fucking, fucking he, he said his Twitter feed was like full of like, like, Mick, like rice pot like to farty ass compilation 12. <laughs> it was just, his Twitter was full of that. And he immediately had to make like a fucking apology tweet. <laughs> Like like, okay, okay, I gotta. So I have to say of, something. Okay, well, I have to say something. <laughs> Sandra, if you're out there, <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> fucking Sandra, Corey, you did explain. not, <laughs> Sandra, you did not sign out <laughs> of your fucking YouTube on Pico Day, and we were looking at the same thing, like <laughs> fart and cringe and autism. So you're gonna need to check your YouTube feed. <laughs> If anyone goes to their watch list, I go and disable my watch list. If you like find mortified. loaded diapers and autism things in my little pony, and there's a fucking pamper chew pony. <laughs> Imagine a Jennifer like, go to YouTube and you never watch any of these videos, and it's like. My, my complex free outfit taking yeah, shit. Rec- recommended for you. Yeah. Fully loaded diaper. Fully loaded Let's fully see. diaper. Put 12. Autistic fat man shits on So on, I learned my lesson bedpan. last night when I saw them going through the videos. I meet, I very I very quietly and politely said, hey, hey Zach, can you hand me the controller when you're done watching this video? And they're like, oh yeah, sure, whatever. I grabbed the controller and the first thing I did was fucking feverishly go to the... I went through like every menu. I was like, how the fuck do I sign out of this? I like... I don't even know what the fuck was happening. It took forever, but then it was like we finally did it. Cool, I signed yeah, out. They were really so doing. angry because after that, almost ninety percent of the videos you guys were trying to watch, you couldn't fucking watch because of age restriction. <laughs> We click a video. You had to sign in just we to watch the fucking it's video. Because look at we click a video called like my full diaper pot belly video. Like, so that's big, like man, man. Make we we needed his account at the time. We we, 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 account. we missed out on like four loaded diaper videos. We missed out on other fucking goods. It's all Mick's fault. We couldn't see we couldn't see burps, farts. <laughs> Or the work, dude. It was all there were like all the diaper ones in the beginning. The only diaper videos you could watch were like were like fan art Tumblr drawings of ponies <laughs> with fucking fucking shitty filled diapers. It was like pop music. Like three horse asses with fucking droopy I, yellow diapers. That's all we could do because we couldn't log playing. in. We couldn't log in and see people stuff themselves on their fucking lawn chairs. <laughs> Bull. Ball corn. That's what I say. Fucking ball corn. PM me your pavlos. Anyway, Sandra, sorry. Shout out We're to signed out now. Shout out to Sandra D. Rivers. Follow her on Twitter. Send her fuck videos right now. Send her diaper videos. Send her diapers is like a, a sign of commitment. As an apology. PM me your pavlos asks, what is your hidden talent? Hidden, oh, hidden talent. Have you seen this number? <laughs> Guys, Corey Stubb just fucking disappeared. <laughs> Gareth also pointed out for those who could not see that he didn't even put his thumb through his. He just took his two fists and knocked them together. That's all he fucking just did. Were you fooled? <laughs> I think your thumb disappeared. What's your hidden talent, though? Oh, you do a really good Zach impression. Yeah, you do a really good Zach impression. Watch, try it out. Well, it's like any sort of. Uh, do I have to do it now? I'm kind of. Just do it. You yeah, do it. Wow, it's me, Zach. I'm so cool. I'm a <laughs> bitch. 
You don't gotta fuck off, dude, you asshole. <laughs> like, I don't know, people don't even believe it, but, uh... Yeah, they, they were trying, to, it before, they were trying to build a theory. It's the first time you've done it. You did it on the podcast before. Yeah. I'd say Corey's hidden talent was the trombone, but everybody knows that now. Corey, get, play, Corey, play, play a tune. I can play oh, the yeah, flute. actually. Just watch out for the mic, don't blow it out. <laughs> I can play the flute. Corey's really like a fucking frantic 50s wife, running from a fucking mouse. She's, like, frolicking. <laughs> What the fuck was that? Was that your Ricketts run? That was a really piles. bad PlayStation 1 animation, Corey. I think he just did his Ricketts run he was talking about right now. That was like a fucking... Uh, uh, I have well, the tiger. I, oh yeah, I have the tiger. Why not? Hey, I'm out there if you're looking out. I have the spider. <laughs> I have the spider. <laughs> Throw fucking apple but, in the Yo, play the poop song. Play the poop song on on Corify. What is he doing? No, he's poop. Corey, play the American anthem. This is this is to our fallen heroes. Happy Fourth right. of July. <laughs> That is disrespectful. <laughs> That's the fucking bullet going through their heads. The last thing they hear. Oh my god, <laughs> Corey! Corey! Savage trombone, dude. That is fucking savage. Don't, 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 fucking don't, toxic don't. trombone. Corey looks like he just discovered a new listen, fucking listen. Fucking I, ice cream flavor. Listen, His eyes are bugging out. Listen, comedy should not be off limits. Okay. Corey, play the Isis theme song for all for, for all for the heroes that I wreck. Okay. Do you know how it goes? Watch out for the mic. Oh, that was a good one. That's the fucking, that's the retarded Isis. It's a little less. That's the reprise. Hey, Isis, you're looking for a trombone player in the back? Guys, hi to the glory. Go to Iraq and he'll march out for the field. It's funny, you all people. Yeah, you with your red plastic trombone. <laughs> yeah, you imagine he's like, I'm back, Obama. And Corey, <laughs> you're back. Corey, walk, Corey, we, need, we need a green screen you did ISIS video walking out playing the theme song. Somebody's getting fucking. While they're trying to fucking read their letter? Yeah, you just turn around, you're like, gross, fucking nasty, you walk off. <laughs> fucking yuck! Looks like spaghettios, and you fucking walk off. Whatever, we're up to go. I'd be fucking scared, dude. I would too. Molasses asks, a lot of you guys have started streaming art regularly. Mm -hmm. What do you think are the benefits of streaming, and do you see it as a practical way for artists to attract attention? Oh, oh, oh right. shit. Can I say something controversial? And this is what I personally believe is happening. Okay. So, YouTube, when YouTube started, it was like, you know, original whatever. It was just like videos and stuff. Then it originated to vlogs mm -hmm. and Let's Plays. Mm -hmm. But what I personally believe is that it's now the future of streaming. And I feel like it's the future. Like, it's like, this is where everyone's going to. Like, right. why would you watch a 40-minute Let's Play series and you just watch the person play the full game on stream? Sure. What do you think's next? I personally think, like, the whole... 3D VR. I, I think streaming, I, I think streaming is important because... Not saying it's important to stay, like, hip, but it's, all, it's important because... You can consistently talk directly to the people while you're working. Yep. It's no longer this like weird edited process where you're looking in through a window and seeing them after it's done. You can see them while they're doing it. Yeah, and get a reaction. Yeah, and you can directly yeah. communicate and work with them and make stuff. And it's definitely more positive than just simply spending like a hundred years making content. That, that was literally the main thing for me. Like I, I haven't really, mo I just recently got partnered, but I haven't set up donations yet. And, and I, I may, but I think for me the biggest thing was is as an animator spending so much time in a vacuum that you know when you animate something like before before i streamed literally nobody saw the process and then what mm -hmm. after a month of me trying to juggle a cartoon with work i spit out some fucking minute and a half cartoon that maybe people watch maybe they don't for a minute and a half and then they're out <laughs> exactly. you know what i mean it's fucking yeah. rather than if i'm going to spend you know x amount of hours working on something why and it's the purpose is to entertain people it's to connect with people yeah even if it's in a cartoon great yeah. gra also granted like I, I haven't been streaming as much but this is my own personal reason right now i'm waiting to get a more beefier pc so i'm kind of laying off on streaming mm -hmm. and focusing on work until i can get a better pc 
Um, I'll still try to stream, but my PC is very bad at the moment, so I'm not streaming currently. But I will start streaming eventually. You and plug your uh, everybody here. Want to plug your Twitch? I think we did it before, but but as well. My name is on Twitch. It's Spaz Kid. It's Spazcast, I think. Yeah, I think it's Spaz 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 Spa
If my dis- These are people who get news from fucking 4chan, okay? These are people who log into 4chan with their fucking sippy cups, and they just sit there and believe every fucking piece For, of trash 4chan, they read. I'll tell you, 4chan is one of the funniest places to ever go, because some, some of these people will link me stuff, like, hey, so, someone's saying they're you. Yeah. Or there's a thread where someone says they're making here. Oh, God. And you go through those, and it's like, they say things as such a matter of fact, yeah. you're like, really? Oh, they, 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 they know too. so much better than everybody else. There was a, you were telling me there was a thread about Nile. There was a, no, there was a thread about one of us, and there was a few things that were said. One of the things was said was like, wow. They said something about like about hellbenders, but it was so matter of fact, as if like they knew. Yeah. And they're like, wow. Turns out now I had the most stable job of any of these fucking idiots. <laughs> That's Cause, not true. Because you helped. <laughs> no, not even even if it was true. My point is like, but so because you helped Sandra with the coloring for the. Oh, they they thought I was. They, they said, said wow. that you were you worked at Cartoon Network. Regularly. And the rest oh, of you, and were, you were like a Cartoon and Network. And therefore animator. the rest of us were lazy, but it was like. <laughs> I'll take it. My oh. point is, it's just like, but the, the guy said it's so credit. matter of fact, and all the all the replies were like, yeah. Figures. So you, figures. Notice, like, figures yeah. you notice on those 4chan <laughs> threads, they always, like, pick on one of us. Like, one week they'd be like, Mick is a fuck. Like, they'd, they'd be all out. I'm probably there then, more then the next, often than No, no, no. Then the, next, then the next week you'll be like, yeah, Zach is stupid. And, and then, and, but that, like. People like this nasally faggot. Yeah, but then it would be me. I was, like, waiting for it to be me, and then it happened once. Uh, it doesn't said, bother me because, you, you, like I said, well, two, two points. But the first point I'd make is, like, you're never gonna please anybody. If you if you really want to do that, you're just you're living in a fantasy. What I've always told people is like, imagine or, or think about the person you think is the best musician of all time, or the best filmmaker, or the best comedian. Your favorite comedian probably still is hated by like sixty percent of the population. Like hated. Yeah, because There's statistically no, you're not going to please everyone. You can't do that. So that doesn't bother me. The only thing is like you read like yeah, dude, just their how matter of fact they are. Like this is the way it is. It's like no, you're literally making shit up because you want to sound informed. Did I tell you about the time when someone on Four Chan pretended? to be me uh, that's happened I, to all of us and he answered yeah. the question so correctly i was like did i like, like <laughs> did you black out and fucking yeah, do it? it it was it was so like and he was polite and i was like you're not right, even that. nile anymore <laughs> you, you you actually stolen somebody else's identity the real yeah. nile is out there to on be the able, to, be able like, to fucking mimic me you gotta have some fucking like yeah yeah you, you had to go to my school fucking lexicon because there's no goddamn way you'd be able to copy my way of typing my point <laughs> is though, i could type like a fucking people do, shit, people do that shit on youtube too like like it's i never put commas but sometimes Sometimes I put capital letters and question marks yeah. in fucking comments in random places. Yeah. What's your favorite Same. 4chan board, Corey? I don't know on 4chan. Like, I mean, I guess, there's, I guess there's like boards, but like when I used to go to 4chan, I went on fucking Swift and D and all those fucking places. What is oh, really? Swift it's, and it's what is flash. D? Swift is just Flash and... D uh, is like uh, Fuda and like, like Shemail porn. It's alternative porn, basically. The video game one is pretty decent. V used to fucking suck. I don't know if it got any better, but it used to be terrible. It used to just be a, a, the... I couldn't really It used to just be the Switch. game equivalence of fucking B. I hate talking about 4chan like it's a fucking... Like it's, a, it's, it's a actually lettering. a thing to talk about. Like, yeah, like it's cool. It's like... Yeah, it's not a thing to talk about. It's like really. the dude sold 4chan as some fucking guy who sells everybody's information. If you're still going... Did on, he? Yeah, if oh you're still God. going on 4chan, Chain. There's a guy who's fucking putting all your personal information out Whoops. for the public to take. Whoops. So if you if it should be common knowledge by now that Fortune is a fucking hot box for stealing your information. <clears throat> from what I remember, from what I've heard, I don't know if that's true, but I remember the dude fucking sold it to some like shady Japanese guy. All right, like, enough. <laughs> enough. Are you, are you tired of being trolled by a troll? <laughs> we talk troll you trolled me troll. hard. Yeah, Time to truck I'm and giving, troll. I'm giving the next fucking question. Nick PTSD about his Fortune experience. <laughs> Mixed Fortune days where he would go troll facing. I, I don't really have any guy fox. You, you, really you created the door meme. Mixed that was your the fucking door region. meme. Yeah. Mick, you are Legion. I am. I'm all of them. The first thing Mick said to me was, "We do not forgive. We do not forget." <laughs> when he fucking came to the door, and yeah, I ate some fucking cheesy potatoes and fucking bar. <laughs> I love the dry I love the drywall. I throw it up. All right, it's a little throwback joke. Next, next we got from I'm a fucking nerd, mate. Uh, asks, I did know you asked a question here. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Whoa, dude! Whoa, Corey! Whoa, no! Whoa. Almost three way eyes. <laughs> what's something, what's something you know what, you've Nick, done? You know what, Nick? Don't even ask the question. Next, what, what's something next, you've done in gay. the past that you look back and go, man, I was an asshole? Or something we, I, I, I did? That Pokemon card thing still haunts me. Um, fucking, I can count the. It's like a laundry list, man. Like, I, I, we talked a little bit about this on the last one we did. Yeah, all right. We talked about this before, but I, I would just say, yeah. We, Look at look at our new girls reviews. Yeah, look at God our new girls. <laughs> yeah, look at our new girls. That's all you need to see. All you gotta do is go to the art 
fucking Newgrounds reviews, like the the reviews they did for like people's art pieces and their fucking flashes, I was just you guys like, kept all yours up, didn't you? Blunt. Yeah. I think t- I had to delete a few, yeah, but, but, you, but the really old ones. You guys, you ones. guys, no, it wasn't just Zach. So no. some of you guys got a little, uh, a little. I like, haven't removed freaky deaky about keeping those things up. Got a little paranoid. I haven't removed really? anything. What? Yeah, about keeping up those old reviews. If it was, no, no, the, no, the ones I had deleted were from like 2006. They, yeah. they, they were the opposite. They weren't like the mean ones. They were just the really bad ones. Were you still oh. I think if you. If you go to my Newgrounds or Corey's or Chris's or Stamper's, you'll find some fucking, fucking venom. Venom. pity. I read them. Pretty, yeah, pretty just venom. So I don't leave just... reviews anymore, and it's like it's a weird thing where it's like I, I had enjoyment in knowing that I would blam someone's cartoon and ruin their their day. Now when I see a cartoon, even when it's shitty, I just don't even want to be like blam. You just don't like, care. I just, don't, I just I feel bad, so I'll, <laughs> I'll like just ignore it. I mean, and then if I see someone it. do a good job, I'll give it a five. So it's like I don't even feel like ruining someone's day. So yeah. I'm just like fuck <laughs> it. I don't even want to do you this. Come so far, like, yeah, come, I don't even come feel like making circle. someone fucking cry. <laughs> um, all right, cool. Disabled grandma asks. <laughs> Zach, I didn't know you were on this. Oh, oh, right. I can't believe that was oh, off the cuff. Oh, I can't believe you said that two seconds after the other one, which just happened. This is all one piece. If you could eliminate what? one food from existence, <laughs> what food would it be? It could be a <laughs> anchovies, vegetable meal, etc. I guess any food. Cheesy potatoes. I like anything but broccoli. Dollar, if I want to cut potatoes, if I want to cut a food, I would say broccoli because uh, I don't like. Right. One time I ate it. I want to remove drywall and plastic bags. No, eating. there's my diet quote. The blue bags that these papers come in is all my blo- black and blue Charles eats. <laughs> fucking drywall, no more drywall. I, like, go, I go to my most favorite he, he says, "I'll be the one to cut the fucking blue bag." Why blue bag? Why not a black bag? I also want to cut deodorant out of the diet. Well. Oh my god, deodorant, <laughs> drywall, cornstarch, sardines. This sounds, like, this sounds like a real Thanksgiving fucking feast. <laughs> It's a fucking Home Depot aisle, dude. This <laughs> ain't like, even fucking food. Like, it's fucking Fuck. it's stuff that shoot the ice water's over. Under Thanksgiving, we came over. That was all we had to lay down. No, Corey, Corey was like, "I'll be the one to cut the yeah, roast beef." Yeah, fucking it's like shoe ice comes in. He's got extra shit because he's you know he eats like fucking tampons and like he's sandpaper. like shoving all that. He's oh like a God. fucking. Did he eat a light bulb? If you if he cut his own finger off, he'd probably eat it. If you could eliminate one food though, drywall, drywall, probably a rock. <laughs> <laughs> Probably rocks. Just honestly. get rid of all rocks. Probably tree bark. We'd be fucked. Knock them out. We'd tree be bark. fucked. Tree them. bark because then you can have get a nice looking tree instead of an ugly, gross tree with its fucking dirty. You can suck on a soft tree instead of a fucking hard tree. <laughs> How about yams? Because fuck yams. Like, fuck I like yams. yams. Yams are boring. What are yams again? Oh, sweet potatoes. Fucking yeah, annihilate yams. Yams and horseradish. Get rid of them. Oh, horseradish. I like horseradish, horseradish so too. Bad. That's not so bad. I like both of Horseradish just. If I want to cut it together. Fucking horseradish destroys my nostrils and makes my <laughs> nose hurt. Okay? Fuck horseradish. If I want to if, Wait, if I want to cut a food out, but it's also an animal, does that cut the animal out? It of does, existence? out of existence. No, I want to no, cut. No, it just cuts the food. I want to put it fucking it horse and radish in a black hole and cut them out all entirely. It means people that eat the food. So if you say steak, nobody ever eats cows. Or just or steak, right? Yeah, or that. meals even. A whole meal. Okay, yeah. well, I want to cut out. I, I do want to cut out yams and drywall. What's that one yeah. dessert with the, where they spray the thing with like a fucking fire? A creme brulee. Those are disgusting. <laughs> You've had bad creme brulee. A good creme brulee. I don't even like creme brulee, but a good one. I've had good ones. Also, disgusting. cut out eel because I don't I've had like, like that three either. and all three have been like mediocre at best. Cut out eel. Out. I don't like eel. Get I love eel. I love, love eel. eel. You love eel? You love eel? I love eel. I couldn't even imagine eating Get rid of it. It's not even important. Fucking love it. What about electric eel? No. Get rid of it. Cut it out of the menu. Spider babies. I don't want to ever get rid eat of the black spider widow spider. Oh, you're, being, you're being shocking. Get rid of all little boy assholes. I'm sick of eating these things. I'm sick of, I'm sick of binge eating these. <laughs> Next question. I'm sick of, I'm sick of boy ate cream from Japan. Get rid of it. I'm sick of little boy cum. Stop sending it to my house. <laughs> get rid of it. Cut the boy cum out cut, of my I'm diet. I'm cutting out of my diet. <laughs> it's making me cum. break out in rashes. <laughs> cut it out. Drywall, yams, horses, and boy cum. Get rid of it. I'm sick of eating bricks and boy cum. <laughs> it's fucking my diet up. <laughs> fucking newspaper plastic bags, deodorant, <laughs> fucking cheesy potatoes, get rid of it! It's done! It's out! <laughs> but I'll take bags! If there's no boy cum, what do you spread on your bricks? <laughs> cheesy potatoes. <laughs> cheesy potatoes, <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> and you wrap it in bags, you fucking You fucking get some cornstarch, sprinkle some cornstarch all over. <laughs> you gotta be able to taste these fucking pie, dude. This, is like, a, this is like the fucking inside joke hour. Uh, people will know eventually. <laughs> Guys, look up 
Look up um, um, drywall hat. Freaky, 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 freaky yeah, before, freaks. Before Look up Freaky we Friday drywall. Videos, freaky fuckers. Before, freaky before eaters. the podcast, we were like literally just before we recorded, we were watching videos of people eating fucking drywall. They're like, oh, I'll punch holes in my wall and I eat <laughs> drywall when I'm hungry. We'll break up a little. Why piece. are you talking like that? It was literally oh, a yeah. soft-smoking black lady, like this girl. She was like that's in her that's like early twenties. That's how I imagine somebody who eats drywall. Then she was talking about how she like she like sometimes I go over to my friend's house. I'm sorry, that fucking the guy. I'm sorry, the lady who eats drywall doesn't fucking talk about. About the then she's like, yeah, then she's like in a hardware store and she's like, this drywall tastes nasty, this but drywall. this one tastes real good. Yeah, I guess she does. All right, next question is by Drip. Je- fuck. Trip. Drip. All right, guys, Drip. we gotta keep this thing rolling, dude. Hip, All right, hop, next we got did the hip hop. Jethro Washington. Talk about Kangaroo Jack. Talk about Kangaroo Jack. <laughs> Jethro <laughs> Washington. Whoa, that's a That's a very intense name. Don't stop the What's the guy's the name? Thing. Uncle Tom. That's his he name. He sounds like a fucking general. Fucking Jethro, Jethro Washington. Washington. Jethro Washington. Who was your awesome. biggest childhood role model? Fucking Jethro Washington was. World and why? There's a 90% chance this question is already asked and answered. Sailor Moon and Jim Carrey. <laughs> <laughs> well, wow, weird. without hesitation. You were fucking. De- you've been waiting to say that. <laughs> Hillary, Hillary Duff, Cross would see you. Next. Oh, wow. In that order. Hillary fuck. Duff's up there. Hillary Clinton. I need it. I need you know what we did? Lizzie McGuire was we up answered, there. We answered some effect. Like, who, it came in the, the form of, like, who are your biggest inspirations? Yeah, because mine was Mel Blanc, and it still is. Eh, hey, what's yeah. up, Doc? Yeah. Do, do, a, yeah, Vicky, do, a, do a Vicky I Mouse. Learn to start like I just did. Stuff away. Hey, what's up, what, Doc? Okay, okay, let's. let's, let's oh, no, I did, I thought yeah. Corey, Doc. Wow. Let's write a brand new Looney Tunes right now on the press. I'm hunt. Uh, it's it's wabbit season. I'm gonna hunt, hunt some wabbits. Yeah, what's up, Doc? You look pretty beautiful in your white dress. Can you stay with twelve for me? Yeah. Wow, that's what sexy. <laughs> <laughs> this is preposterous. <laughs> Give me, give me your I, best I, suffering succotash. Suffering succotash, <laughs> Tweety Bird. Fucking, fucking Daffy blows big fun. Or Bugs blows big fucking rips a big fart. Bugs butt rips a big, hey, hey, Mel Blanc, listen up. Bugs butt rips a big fucking fart in the Daffy Duck's face and his fucking beak turns backwards. Fuck you. I'm talking the funny stuff. Hey, play the Looney Tunes thing right after that. I feel like Hey, hey, Quick, play the trombone. Play the Looney Tunes song backwards. Play it on the trombone. Everyone quiet, everyone quiet, everyone quiet. Wait, wait. Quick, play fresh. Good job, Corey. You're my favorite. You're my inspiration. That's right. Sailor Moon, take a hike. I just Mick, like that. Mick always talks with the master of disguise. He always brings it up. He's like, you know, <laughs> we, I always think he's good. <laughs> I always think he's been talking like a Buddhist quote, but he's like, listen, as someone once said, Zach, you, am I, and make, make Zach, you got right next to the mic when you said that fucking, deaf, you got ASMR about fucking, <laughs> fucking <laughs> buddy doing listen, a party listen, call, like, deaf, Mick, I'm like, Mick, what, what, it's going to hurt know, everyone's like, ears. I'm like, Mick, you know, like, I got diagnosed with cancer. What do I do? And Mick pops out, well, he gets, gets on his knees and he says, listen, as, as someone once said, am I not turtle enough for the turtle club? <laughs> Corey breaks out the master of disguise. <laughs> I got a mess in this guy's song waiting any time. I said, I, I says, <laughs> make, we'll I says, make, I says, make him a daddy. I says, what do I do? He says, become another person, become another person. And, and a funny yeah, thing, totally can, can you become, quote the whole movie? Become another person. I think you can quote the whole movie. Become another person. How many times have you watched that? Okay, so, hey, editor, hey, Billy, <laughs> hey, Jenny, <Jenny's laughs> play indie music right now. <laughs> Welcome to my house. Thank you very much. I look, my snake is dancing. Dance, snake, dance. <laughs> no, you mean the snake one. You got, you got the food. <laughs> yes, dance. Yes, dance. <laughs> I wonder if I can train you to suck my cock. <laughs> yes, crawl into my dick hole. Yes. <laughs> yeah, fuck the you. end. What was happening? That was, that was the answer to my question. All right. That's the answer to my qu- your question. You weren't the only who one who answered situation? that. Apparently, Dick Hole Ant Farm answered that question as well with Nigger Jim. <laughs> Nigger Jim is a huge inspiration to us all. Yeah, huge inspiration. <laughs> I don't even know how that state. It's got negative three points. How the fuck does that even still on the board? Like, it's still fucking there <laughs> because it was relevant at the time. All right, Voltour asks Voltron, "What is one thing about yourselves that the rest of the crew doesn't know?" I'm actually a troll in sheep's wool. I've known that for a long time. <laughs> in sheep's wool? No, you guys don't know. 
Is I always say that I'm half Chinese? <laughs> You're actually full Chinese. Oh. No, I'm. I, I mean, I'm part American Chinese. American Chinese. He's I'm, a quarter part, Chinese. What do you want, fourth? <gasps> I'm. All, yeah, I'm like. You're like almost a fourth. Panda oh. Express Chinese. Cool. Gotcha. 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 I'm fifty-fifty, like a fucking yellow like a quarter cracker. Of All right, cool. So baby seals are yummy. Asks, <laughs> what are some of your These favorite hobbies other than animating? Edit. Ignored that first question. It's stupid. New, slightly less stupid question. What is your spirit animal? <laughs> that was more stupid. <laughs> spirit, my spirit animal is. So that was saying. Your I'm spirit trying. animal is like something that you resonate with. It like a, protects I'd, you. I'd be a goblin shark. Oh I'm god. A you fucking. I'm a water bear. All right. You try to get me like fucking. Water water. I'm a water dragon. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a water dragon. I'm, a, I'm a water. I'm a water dragon or a dangle sword. You take your pick. <laughs> All right. Cool. <laughs> There's the options. I didn't make it up. I didn't make up the rules. Mute. Mew, Mewtwo you. asks, "Is there anything I would you shit turned down dangle sword <laughs> my window closed. or rejected? Oops. And eventually, is there anything you turned down or rejected and eventually regretted that?" down the road oh yeah actually um, anybody so who's pussy. no anybody who's uh, <laughs> might have been <laughs> doing <laughs> might have been doing paintball I talked to someone actually at Pico Day it's really interesting I did this animated thing for a paintball company at the time I was doing freelance work I did an animated thing for them um, but they were really shady with paying me they took like <clears throat> like five months to pay me and they were supposed to pay me like months ago, so I didn't trust them in the future. And they they offered you a job. No, but they, they were Microsoft. No, they basically they offered <laughs> me to do an animation, and then they would like pay me, and then they would do make me do other stuff in the future. But apparently, he went to a paintball thing, and he saw my animation there, and this paintball thing ended up becoming really big. Yeah. And I could have made a ton of money. Yeah. But I turned it down because they were fucking shady with paying me. Yeah, I think still think you made the right decision. Yeah. yeah it's but you gotta make the calls in the moment. You can't gamble on but that shit. that is something that's like, you think like, well, what if I did just be like, okay, well, I got fucked this one time, and maybe I won't get fucked yeah. again. And I wouldn't get fucked. I'd probably be making good money. You know, some people, you gotta think about it. Like, with it's so weird with animation. Like, <clears throat> you take a risk every time you say, like, yeah, I'm gonna work on this project. Because it can eat up a chunk of your life. Sure. It, let's say it takes up three months. That's a what a fourth of a year mm -hmm. of how many years that you even have animating. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you know, you only got so many projects in you. So you know, you got you kind of have to be yeah, selective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like how long have you been working on Hellbenders? You mean like what? what see, working on it. This pilot. This pilot that you've been working on. But see, the thing is, what you mean like animation wise or script wise? Or time what? of your life wise. Oh, time of my life. Well, we started. Uh, God, in twenty. Thirteen. Okay, so three years roughly. Yeah, but three years. Yeah. Also, okay. I think I think Wild did the audio for it too. For what? For, for the, the paintball, paintball thing? thing. Pretty sure he did. Oh, for the remember, one that actually got made. Yeah, because he's the one who got me the plan to begin with, and I told Lyle, I was like, I was like the the one. I always she's wondered how he could have that rock star lifestyle. <clears throat> Apparently, he's been living off the residuals of that paintball video. No, he uh, Lyle is like Lyle's pretty much. He's a streamer, yeah. and he's pretty much taken over the reins of being a streamer and stuff. So he like yeah. shout out to Lyle also. Shout yeah, out shout out to Lyle. Lyle I think it's on Twitter. Yeah, I'm not saying he's voice. like a full time liar, but I mean, he puts a lot of effort into his stuff now. I see it. Like, but he, people can just spit stuff out, but he doesn't. He puts, like, he spends time making No, his, his loot crate shit is probably the best loot crate Yeah, his loot ever crates made. are, like, fucking really. Other people just there. fucking sit there and, and rub if their dicks. If anybody watches shit. my stuff, I'm sure you've heard his voice. Besides Mick, I think he's my. Is he Lyle he's Lyle more? Yeah. Oh, uh, no. Is, or is he guitar? Podcast. Is he Guitar Master? Guitar Master. X. X. I don't know if he's still that. I think he I think might he, actually No, he switched it over, I think. Lyle oh, did he? Yeah. I don't okay. think he was, but I, he's not that anyway, I don't think. He does like, he hates that fucking name for all his <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah. Next, yeah. we've got Norgamka asks, If you get cloned and one of the clones is evil, how do you let your friends know which clone is the real you? But if they're clones, they Throw have the same brain, right? But one's evil. Oh. Throw him a curveball. So how, how is it evil? How do you tell your friends? How is it evil? See, that's the thing. Yeah. If it's evil, then it, you, you're, it's doing something different. Oh, I know what I do. I'd be like, Sweet. everybody do, line up and do a duck walk. Whoever does the best duck walk, you fucking blow their head off because they're clearly the evil one. <laughs> no, no good person can do a good fucking good duck walk. You have to be only Hitler <laughs> can do the best duck walk. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Cor Cor Corey's test. He's like, oh yeah, what was Hitler's last name? If you can say it, you Cor fucking blow your brains out. Yeah, like, Cor You're Cor a fucking zombie. You're a fucking evil <laughs> twin clone zombie. Corey played Duck, Duck, yeah, Goose. Like, duck, Duck, Goose, and he fucking blow your head off. <laughs> yeah, they might what's in this last thing, but his fucking head would switch out and fucking explode. Say, sing the baloney song if they could sing the whole thing. What about through. you? How would you find out if your evil twin was evil? I would kiss me, and if he blushed, I knew he's gay, so I'd kill him. <laughs> like gay is evil? Evil? <laughs> <laughs> is that what Gosh told you? Why are you blushing now? That's weird. Yeah, that, that is weird. Gay got your tongue. I'm thinking of him sucking up my tongue and fingering my ass with his thumb. 
with his big black thumb. How would I find out it was evil? Because he would sneer, and then that's the easiest giveaway. Why evil? Like, why, why, why wouldn't he admit it? Oh yeah, you're honest. So he'd be he be evilly honest. He'd be like, yeah, I'm the evil one. And he'd just be like, oh, okay. Just shoot the face. The easy. What if he What if he did his patented Nile a golem scream? Would you kill him? <laughs> yeah, could you kill? Could you kill a golem screaming now? I would sue him for everything he's worth. <laughs> that's zero dollars. You'd sue him. You'd take him to court and spend more money. Suing As he him. screams in the courtroom, like golem. <laughs> well, like and he'd win you over, and he ended up throwing the whole thing. Yeah. yeah, what if what if your tw evil twin went you over and fucked you now? You felt really good, and he realized he wasn't really. You just you're a fucking weirdo. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're a fucking asshole. You had a fucking doorknob up your butthole. He was you're just fucking fucking a door with your butt. Fantasizing, but you just had schizophrenic like breakdown. <laughs> but like, how did I feel it? Would that be the most really shadowy thing ever? There. Having a schizophrenic breakdown. Would be really shadowy if you like fucked your clone and you realized it was all fake. Did you hear about that like fucking dungeon place somewhere where like there apparently it's haunted and some kids got killed there and raped? And when some people, some girls go down there, they think they got raped by the ghost, they feel it. What? Why would you ever go to there if you feel like you get raped by the ghost? A, a dungeon play? No, it's Lose like, your virginity. It's like, in the Civil War, there was this, like, dungeon where all these kids got, like, raped. Okay. And when people, where was this? <laughs> what? Do people with like rape fantasies go there just to get fucked by ghosts? I don't know. Exactly. How does a ghost rape I don't know you? too much about it. How do you feel violated by a ghost? Oh my god, are you Corey, serious? Did you, did you watch did, ghost did you watch the Didn't you watch the fucking cringe videos we saw earlier? People can get offended by anything. Anything. That's not what I'm saying offended. I'm saying how do you get affected? You say how do you get fucked by a ghost? Yeah, how do you get raped by a ghost? I'm not saying. Ass. I'm yeah. not saying how do I get triggered by looking at my fat titties when I jump in the shower. <laughs> Corey, did you watch Ghostbusters one where Dan Aykroyd gets a fucking blowjob from a ghost? That's a documentary, my friend. And then he turns into a fucking schizo and goes on. fucking found and yeah, yeah, then, yeah. Then he turns into a real crazy person. <laughs> that was, that, Ghostbusters three is just the aftermath of uh, his fucking. Ghostbusters Dan three Aykroyd is Dan Aykroyd and Larry King live like the ghost. The, the aliens will never talk to us after 9-11. <laughs> we scared like, him away. Yeah. Ghostbusters. Three, Larry King looks so scared during that interview. Larry King crawls back into his fucking <laughs> coffin and descends back into the middle of the earth. Yeah, Fire and flames and fucking... I'm gonna go sleep for 40 more years. <laughs> Alright, Soy Socks hell. asks, For the whole Sleepy crew, are there any podcasts or radio shows that any of you listen to? If so, which ones? Oh, Soy Socks. Man. Soy I Socks actually I actually don't really listen to anything. I mean, not, not I like I think podcasts. I'm the only one on the like podcast. You listen to Joe podcasts. Rogan. You're a big Roganite, right? I don't listen to you him. You take Alpha Brain. <laughs> no, I don't. You, you I, always... I, the I first used to time, Niall, Niall would always fucking talk to me about Alpha Brain. He's like, dude, you wonder why I'm such an Alpha. You wonder why my brain is so Alpha. It's because I take <laughs> Alpha Brain. Dude, I, I, I went up to you and pulled your headphones on. I heard fucking like... Dun, 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 and I put it back down because I knew what you were listening to. Most that all happen is like sometimes the video will like appear in my feed like my, my YouTube recommended like sometimes it'll be like an Opie and Anthony clip or like uh you know like maybe Joe Rogan or like even like Howard Stern like sometimes I get like recommended clips yeah. that are like 30 minutes or something I'll just watch them sometimes yeah. but I've never like gone out of, out of my way to listen to entire like podcasts to yeah. keep up with them I don't listen to the only Howard Stern clips I always see is like porn star talks about first gang Por banging experience yeah, I'm or, like, right, I, I watched, I watched Howard, Howard Stern clips like the last one I watched was the one with Billy West and John Kay yeah and oh, like, it's super fucking awkward weird you know, you know the story behind that no but so, that's an interesting combo well so because Billy West did voices for Red Stippy and but oh which ones did he do what, he did oh he was the, the dad or no but he did it no, for after, after no was, he did one of the kids he did uh I always forget which ones I never watched Red Stippy which one is Billy West? Uh, the Ren. Wait, the small and Stimpy. Big nose one. The, fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ren and Stimpy is both that Billy Stimpy's West. Stimpy's the cat. Yeah, Stimpy. He voices Stimpy. Ren and Stimpy. Ah, G Ren. It's, it's no, Billy West. Ren and Ren. Stimpy. He also voices Ren. Well, that's the thing. So after John K got like I don't know the whole story, but like I guess he got canned, and a lot of the a lot of the people on the show of Ren and Stimpy like decided to walk. And I guess they offered John K uh, Billy, Billy West. West some kind of deal oh. to come back and do the voice, and he also did the voice. Of uh, the other guy, Ren, yeah. or Stimpy, whichever one. Yeah, like, the yeah, Red Ren. Cat and the He did, be, but my point is, he ended up doing both. He ended up doing both the characters, yes. which John K. voiced the one of them. Yeah. And everyone left, and so. So that's, it was a bit of a trade. So there was like a, yeah, there was like a discrepancy and a kind of rivalry there. And so, Howard Stern being the fucking shit stir, he has invited them both on. And since John K. seems a little bit kind of apprehensive as a person, anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's it, like Billy West just like blushing and smiling really awkwardly. It's from like 1997. It's yeah, really old. Yeah, do they know each other? We're like going on it. I don't. I think so. But it, anyways, that's the last thing I watch. But uh, no, I don't really watch. So besides like Opie and Anthony or like Howard Stern, or, like the that, but that just like that's clips. I, I think don't, like, Opie and Anthony are insufferable, but for some reason their show is entertaining sometimes. It's it's fascinating <laughs> to watch after uh, the whole thing with the whole Anthony thing. I was keeping up with it. That's like a <laughs> whole. Like, <laughs> it's like a whole. Like it's like a fucking. Wait, what like, happened with Anthony? So Anthony got fired like a year and a half or two years ago because he took pictures of so of like some place in New York. And some black lady like attacked him. He went on 
Twitter calls like a monkey or something. Oh, <laughs> not because no. she was black, but he was just saying. No, it was because she, he was. She was black. I know. I, I he said. He says he. He's, but my point is, he his argument was he was just saying that she was an animal. He called yeah. her an animal, not a monkey. Sorry, yeah, he called yeah. her an animal, not a monkey. I correct myself. He called her an animal, and Siri, uh, the the network Sirius or whatever, Sirius, fucking X-Men. fired him because of it. And they just had Jim and Opie, and then Anthony went up and did his own thing. But there's a bunch of other weird drama, like they came out and said shit about each other, and Anthony like got arrested for like his, his girlfriend accused him of beating her. Yeah, there's like a whole. That's weird... been a popular thing lately. A lot of uh, like yeah. jo- Johnny Depp Johnny recently. Depp, yes. What Johnny yeah. Depp recently? Yeah, yeah. yeah. beating his wife or what? Yeah, she's filed a restraining order against. Who's he married to? Uh, what's her name? Uh, Amber, Amber Heard. Amber, Amber Heard. Heard. I don't even know what she. Does, I don't know. Do you see couples. that really awkward uh, apology video they both made like two weeks ago? Before no, to who? Be... How did I miss to this? Australia? Wait, both of them both to us. Of... Both of them were forced to make an apology video to Australia because she smuggled her dogs without being vetted into Australia. <laughs> oh yeah. So they both sat down and they're like, Australia is a very good country. I love it. And Wait, then, this is post divorce though, right? No, no, well, this happened like two weeks ago. They're only getting the divorce now. Okay. She only filed Wait, for I have totally this is before loop. he beat the shit Wait, out of her a few weeks ago. That's proven that it, Johnny Depp beat the shit out of his wife? No, 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 it's not proven. He he made a counterclaim saying that she's lying and she had photos, but you know, you never, I don't know. They, they going, it doesn't fucking matter. It's this fucking TMZ bullshit. I did, that completely went through my radar. But yeah, anyway, Cap, so uh, Cap, Corey, Jack Sparrow was Corey, your mick, smacking, uh, you, smacking, uh, smacking you his girl. Does seem like the type? You guys listen to any podcast or anything like that? I I don't. I, I deal with our podcast too much to one. I listen. I listened to one podcast that um, ages ago. I actually listened to a podcast uh, that Lyle introduced me to. It was something Wizards. It was, I forget what it was called, but it was like um, Musty Wizards. I no, it wasn't something like that. But it was like um, it, it was something Wizards. It was like nonsensical Wizards. It was something in that vein. But basically, what they did with the, but they would have a topic and they would say stuff. Like they would be like, okay, the topic today is superpowers. What superpowers would you have, and why would you have them? And someone would say something like invisible, and be like, "Oh, that's gay. Why would you have that superpower?" And they'd say, right. "Why?" And then they'd be like, "Okay." But then, like people, but they would say stuff that like I would think. What's of. What's the gimmick? What's the hook here? They would say stuff that I would think of. Like oh, they would okay. be like really perverted and dirty. And, and sometimes they would do stuff like they would talk about MacGyver and like how MacGyver <laughs> made things. They'd be like, "You're in a room. You have to MacGyver some nonsense." And guy, so there's like weird guys. The like, hypotheticals. Yeah, he's like, yeah. I would stick an umbrella outside my door to collect the water, which I would then use to turn into steam to float out of it. It's just like nonsense, but yeah. it's like. The way it was was like perfect. Like they were like the perfect combination of people well, that had like really good. If we can really find good... a title that will plug it, if we can. I don't. It's uh, eight, it's they only did like ten episodes, and it was oh, in really? two thousand and ten. So it was ages ago, yeah. but it was a yeah. really good podcast. In internet years, it's fucking it's extinct. It's at this point. Yeah. yeah, they were, but they were really funny. Star Talk, I actually just remember. I and I, I used to listen to talk. roughly on occasion. I would listen to way back then. I would listen to the Rooster Teeth podcast because mm-hmm. I like some of the guys on Rooster Teeth. But now I don't listen to it because there's like hundreds of people. People that do it, and the only ones I like that aren't really on there. But uh, so. Star Talk is one. But that's more if you're no, you, fucking you, geek. You put, you put Star Talk <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. That's really good background noise. It's just Neil deGrasse Tyson. He does a podcast with co-hosts sometimes, where he just talks about like I'll take questions. There's just really nice background noise to listen to. That guy's yeah, an it's, animal. It's really make it, soothing. Make it I mean, like a rock star. Whoa, you know, he's like, is he's like a, no, like he's a rock. Like, like, I'm actually more more shocked like, how fast Zach laughed at that. Like, meaning that was the first thing to come into Zach's head. Well, we just talked about it. Accident. I meant I mean, like he's like he's like a rock star of science. Whenever he's I see an animal. whenever I see him, my first thought is like this dude totally cheats on his wife. Oh yeah. I have such a bad thought, but every time I see him, he's like you know. Uh, I love science. It's like, dude, <laughs> this guy totally you know, fucks like white interns. It, we're so still talking about white interns. See the stars, make us, baby. I'll make you see stars, baby. <laughs> Maybe sixty four does a podcast also, but they're like in episode like one thousand. Yeah, never, I, never, I haven't watched a single one. I, I don't even know one. how it is. I've never. I've heard watched, a lot of. I have nothing people. against it, but I've just never. Because it's like, where do you start? You start at episode one, yeah. work your way up. It's like I've heard a lot of good dude. things about those, and it's topical. Like it's topical stuff. Yeah, so and I try like to dating. avoid topical stuff because I feel like it's like I don't want to know. Like I don't want to get a. a I've heard a lot of good things about uh, Grandma's Virginity podcast. I've heard a lot yeah, of good that was about a, that one. Justin Ryland. I check There's like some there's like idiot box is another one. Everyone's always yeah, fucking everyone clamoring about. It. I've never even heard of well, it. Well, a lot of people recommend a lot of these with ours. They'll say like, oh, if you like this one, yeah, yeah. Like, I see. Next question. All right, next question. Cool. Um, next up, we got. If you could change, this is Needs More Whammy asks, if you could change anything about your body, what would it be besides a larger dongus? First of all, uh, none of us in the Sleepy Cabin crew have any concerns about the size of our dong guy. I don't know. But me, myself, uh, I would eliminate a lot of body hair from different parts of my body, including my neck, 
uh, which then bleeds into my back and also my chest. I basically have an entire fur. I am a wolf man, but I create the illusion of not having that by having uh, regular shearing sessions. Uh, I would uh, eliminate my Hank Hill ass and replace it with a nice plump one that I could What would you, on. why, why would you care about your ass? Do you look at it? Because I have a Hank Hill ass. No so what? a Hank Hill ass. Why? What's the problem? It doesn't feel good when you sit down. <laughs> You just got a big juicy black girl ass? Just a big veiny On fucking you? black girl you had ass. A big, you had a plants. big juicy Latina ass, you sat down, you, that shit would fucking you like a oscillate forever. Tailor, your whole body except I'm for telling you right now, ass. it's like sitting on a fucking waterbed you every You fucking time. walk over to J-Lo and be like, I like your ass. You'd be like, oh, thank you. would be like, no, I mean, like, I, I want, want your it. ass. <laughs> Literally, I'd love to have your Yeah, but your the cellulite re would remain. I don't know if that's like a, a turn on or... I don't know. Would I, you look at your own butt and be like, My modification would be I'd be buff no matter what I ate. That's a possibility. Ooh. Modification? I would just, you I could would just, change? I guess so. Oh, uh, my, I guess you could say metabolism then, right? No, but I mean, like, if I could... If I, I could, If I could pick it, I'd pick out like a body, like, like a fucking... You know when you paint your walls, they give you like a like a thing to flip through, get like one of those, and be like that one. I would absolutely get a fast metabolism. Yeah. I would turn. I would. I would fucking trade in my juicy ass for. A my fast metabolism, metabolism was fine. Is, I'm just week. saying, it's more about Mine time. Mine sucks. It's Mine's more. Terrible. It's more about time. Like it's more about like you know. And I'm not. That's what, I'm not saying I can't work out, but it's a lot harder when you're fucking working. Fucking juicy red, ass or eating food. Red Nackin responded with less man boobs is probably the most popular answer to that question. What a fucking, you know let's what? Let's see your man titties, what's yeah, his yours. You better whip those yeah, little yeah, babies oh, out or oh, shake oh, them around. Nice titties. Whip those oh, fucking oh, baby she... torpedoes at you, little bitch. Is that what you call those titties? Ooh, is that why I can make them fucking dance together? <laughs> dance in unison, nice titties. Do they make fucking oscillating sounds? What about you now? What, what, what would you do if you could change one thing about your body? Uh, I got like fucking bags under my eyes. All right. And kind the of- First world problems here. I gained weight pretty recently, but I can lose it quick. It's no big. So nothing, you're all good. Pretty Less happy. seizures. Would you, does that count? I had Less one, blackouts. I only had one seizure. Less blackouts then. I only had one blackout. Where you sleepwalk. You had one wake convulsion up in the kitchen. where you were in the fucking movie theater <laughs> spitting up popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool. Like authentic a toddler authentic fell down. Penis asks, what is your earliest memory? Seeing an authentic penis. Seeing a real true authentic penis. In that my, is one of my earliest memories. In my face. My earliest really? memory is is like fucking sliding out of this like slippery hole and latching Lies. onto this dangling hair. That was last night. And then night. flipping up on top of it. <laughs> this water slide sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Those fucking pussy flaps hit you in the mouth and fucking made your teeth You know, fall. I've gotten to this point where like I don't even know if some of my earliest memories are really memories anymore. Or if I just fucking made them up or they're a compilation I, yeah, yeah, of like movies or something. Yeah, I, one of my earliest memories I think is, uh, is looking like a rocking chair in my room when I was like one or two, but that could just be something I fucking thought of when yeah. I was like twenty. I don't know. There's always a rocking chair in every cartoon and every like well, Stewie no, is a I, rocking chair I, in his bedroom. I know I had a rocking chair. The question is like I just don't know if I'm remembering it incorrectly or if I. Do you remember what was like sitting in that chair? I remember looking at it through my fucking crib. My was it moving and shaking by itself? Is that what you there's remember? A, there was a damn ghoul <laughs> hating it. I had a rocking chair and I know for a fact because I remember sitting underneath it and holding onto the bars and like. Rocking it while I was underneath it and stuff like I, I have like a very tactical memory of it. I think I recall being a pumpkin for Halloween. <laughs> okay, I was dressed up as a pumpkin. Oh, like when you were first like I was like I was like one or two. Or yeah, I was a little pumpkin. The farthest memory back I could possibly remember is riding on those like little like dicks, those, like fucking like horses that are on like yeah yeah, 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 yeah. things, those little rock horses. It's so funny. Whenever I was on those rock horses, I always tried to rock myself so hard that like what the purpose was to fly me, fling myself off yeah, or me something. Me too. Like, yeah. Like, like why was fucking, I trying? Yeah, because it was fun. It you wanted like trying to get the Space yeah, into the ground. I'm trying to do that too. Yeah. Like, what, Why? Why did we try to do that? I would end up just flowing over and fucking hitting my head on the metal <laughs> yeah. bar and crying. It said fucking like, I did spring stains on my fucking forehead. Why did I ever think it was a good idea that if somebody was like over by one of the teeter totters that I jumped on the other side of it? Like, you know, like why did it? Like, what cartoon did I watch? I tried to stand on it once and I fell back and fucking hit my head. On. <laughs> I got so hurt on that goddamn thing, but I kept getting back on it and just fucking riding it. You All right, the Nivlac asks, "You are making a human centipede. Who do you choose, and where do you put them in the centipede?" Uh, I'm clearly at the front. <laughs> In no, my, no, my, no, no, you, no, you, you fucking eat spicy food constantly, in you my, make a fucking bad No, in make. my world, wait, wait, in my world, wait, 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 wait. you're making well, the you're centipede, the fucking why would you put yourself you're on the centipede? You're making cycle, you're not in <laughs> the Why would you centipede? put you, oh. no, I think they just want to put him no, I, I think, I think so you, you want that anyway. So you slide, you <laughs> slide notes to the fucking guy and be like, hey, listen, I, I have a good diet, <laughs> just to pull a prank. <laughs> Gotcha, fooled you, fucking shit and fire. Wouldn't that suck? You're, fucking, you're part of a human centipede, they come up to you and they're like, 
whoa, didn't you get the memo? You didn't have to be a part of this thing. <laughs> this is <volunteer>, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude, you're just supposed to, like, make one. You didn't have to be in it. I'd be like, oh. oh. And you're like, oh. <laughs> oh. That's a little different from what I thought. What a mix-up, right, guys? <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're like, well, since you're here, you might as well... Classic you know, misconceptions. You know? What well, I would be... do is I'd get three of the strongest people and I'd fucking <laughs> roll them down a flight of stairs and see who rips apart first. I would put Hillary, <laughs> Donald Trump... Trump would be in the front so he could Cruz. talk. I put Ted Hillary... Ted Cruz would be the back because he'd love no. it. No, you know what I would do? <laughs> Ted I would love I would Hillary in the middle. No, no, there's no middle. I'd make a, like a little triangle with them. <laughs> like, I'd just fucking like bend them into a circle. Ted like a Cruz would be so... Donut. Ted Cruz would be so fucking horny from that. Like, he just said... <laughs> He's such a creep, he'd probably be licking his lips. Just yeah, but he's so head. upset, though, because he couldn't do any of his impressions while he had his mouth fucking stuck to an what ass. Is, what's he gonna be, what's he gonna be tied to? Okay, so this turned in, so Trump would be the front, because he'd be like, I love being the front, I love being the leader of all this. And then Hillary would be in the middle, she'd be trying to cackle, but her fucking teeth is like carved into an ass. She, she, then, she eats shit anyways for a living. Oh! No, she's good at eating shit, so she would, she, would, she would personally be like, um, can I sit in the middle? Uh, is I, she Christian? <laughs> <laughs> she could be in another life. <laughs> she pretty much is. She's the Christian of politics. So we have Trump, Hillary. I have the best shits, okay. Would it be Bernie and then Ted Cruz? Ted Cruz would lick at his lips and be like, this calls for a Lisa Simpson impression. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, fuck this, dude. I gotta do a Lisa Simpson. My kids are waiting for me to kiss them on the fucking mouth. <laughs> All right. Um, so that's what we would do with the presidential campaign. We turn them into fucking human centipede to make yeah, them Yeah, exactly. Stage. That's exactly what I'd do. All right, we're, we got to get just a, a few more in here. It's getting a little bit late. Um, this is an interesting one. I think it's a pretty short answer. I don't think we have to get too in-depth. Clam Chop asks, here's my question. How difficult is it financially to live as an artist? Is the stereotype of the starving artist true yes. for you or any artist you know? Thanks. Yes. 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 Okay. It yes. is it is yep. stupid yep. to not go into art yep. without having a secondary job. Just remember this. While we may have some audiences and stuff, and yes, we, we probably live a little bit better than some of the some people out there, the truth is is that art for 99.9999999% of people across all times of the universe has always been a very difficult thing to make a living off of. There's, I think if you see one successful person, there is millions of other very talented, if not more talented people yeah. that will are dying, that die in gutters It's some parts alone. talent, some parts luck, some parts yeah. skill with what Yeah, it's luck, skill, yourself. who you know, and talent. And it, yeah. it really what it comes down to is it's not simply like... You can't just get popular. There, you can, but it's like, you know, even then so, you, it, it's luck. Because you could sit there and pander and do everything people want, but some people might, like, it might not catch on. You could spend all this time. It is, it is a matter of what interest you give to people. You need yeah. to bring something to the table that they don't get from anyone else. But I would also yeah. say, I think I've said it before in the podcast, but uh, if, you know, huh. if, you, if you see artists like us or you see other artists and you think they're, you know, they're, they're rich because they have a lot of followers, Twitter followers don't equal... Uh, money. Yeah, Subscribers on YouTube don't equal money. No. What I would say is, if you want money and you want fame, be a lawyer or a doctor. Don't be a fucking animator because it's a long, long process. Yeah. And there's no guarantee you're going to get to the end of the tunnel. Do the animation and art strictly as a hobby until you feel comfortable enough to switch over and start yeah, making keep it. Go, pursue your other life. Continue. I mean, I, I know that may sound hypocritical because we've all, a lot of us have didn't go to college or if we did, we dropped out. That's because it, it hit us early in art, the art part hit us early enough where we could do that. If you're not at a point where you could quit your job, definitely and definitely get income from that, then don't do it. Yeah. Have a back always have a backup plan. What the fuck is up with these like death trains? They're always fucking driving through trains from hell, man. It was just on fire, just yeah. going by I don't, sometimes all these it charred bodies fire. in the windows. Flames flickered. Let's do three more. Do a lightning round. Lightning round. Go, go, go. Lightning round. Let it read off as much as you can. Of course, we have five minutes. Do the lightning round. All right, cool. Press restart. Asks the year is 2025. YouTube finally died. As animators, you're still employed because you actually have talent. You walk into a Wendy's to see Markiplier oh, ready to take your order. No. What do you order, oh, no. and what do you say to him while flaunting your wads of animator cash? 
What a fictional reality. It's so far out there that it's like almost impossible to answer. The real, well, Bizarro it's... Me is an asshole. I want to go up to fucking Markiplier and throw my animator In 2025, apparently, YouTube's dead and therefore us animators... True. Yeah, but the animators, dude. In 2025, it's all going to be stream fame, streamer fame. Yes, it's going to be no, people I think, I think it'll eating cereal. Oh, what do you think it'll be by 2025? I don't know because look, I mean, it's, it, YouTube is celebrity. Simple, is like it started popular. YouTube very, very early started with like vloggers. That was the big yeah. thing. Yeah. And then it was like skit channels, like Smosh and now it's Higa. Let's Plays. And then it was yeah. Then it was like kind of yeah. Then it was Let's Plays. And now it's almost like these list guys and these like there's a few different like, top ten lists. Top ten, they're and everywhere reviewers. now. Uh, then, then, then it's gonna be streamers too, and then it's gonna be something else. It's all it's cyclical. Yeah. Every five or six years, the whole thing wipes out completely. The whole system cleans. How many guys that were there were popular six years ago are still relevant? Does anybody talk about I Justine? No. Onision. Onision. No. Uh, what the buck? I mean, oh Fred? my god! Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Wait, well, who was that one kid? That gay kid, Fred. 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 Fred he's like twenty-seven. So he was on Nickelodeon or something, right? Yeah, no, he something had like a I was looking back on what the buck, and the poor guy gets like okay, lightning round. Thousand views. He's not even a bad guy. I'm just saying. Oh yeah, lightning round. Lightning, that, lightning round. My, my, yeah. my point is. Fuck you, you question. Uh, yeah, Jesus. fucking your bizarre world. Ass. Sticky buns. One asks, "What are your pet peeves?" Mine is uh, people who talk during movies, oh. or 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 don't pay attention. To, so if it's like, "Hey, let's watch a movie tonight," people are like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah," and then while we're watching it, they're on their phone or they get up and walk out of the I room. I hate that. I hate that. And it's like, do you want me to pause or do you want me to? Uh, okay. I, I hate when you know, someone's like, "Yeah, I want to see a movie really badly." You watch it like on their phone. They're like, yeah. "Oh, what happened?" It's like, "Oh, don't you?" Yeah. Yeah. I think, but there's one pet peeve I, I remember that I, I always get tired of seeing is when I'm looking at porn and the way people draw characters they give them like these little tiny buttholes and they have like huge genitalia it's like it's not right it's inaccurate it's I hate photos when the video is called like blowjob and then the girl just spits on the dick and gives him a hand job. That's what? not a blowjob. Yeah, yeah, that's not a blowjob. I also hate it when they say gangbang and it's just two guys banging a girl. It's I'm like, that's not a gangbang. It's a threesome. Pet peeve yeah. is them getting fucking sexual terms incorrect. Alright, cool. Next we've got <clears throat> Coney 2012 is relevant asks do you think some things are off limits when it comes to comedy? What are some things you don't really like to joke about? I no, I say no. As well. Everything is fair. Everything you, is maybe fair. you shouldn't die or be a loser in life. I don't necessarily like everything, but I believe everything is. Fair. I, I think I think it. I think the two biggest things, the two, the only two things that matter in a joke or context and intent. Right. If you make a bad joke about somebody's recently deceased like grandfather, or also something, time. That probably means you had bad intent. Also time. Right. Like, there's no, like, I don't think even time. No, there's like a thing. Like, if somebody, like, you know, if someone just dies and you make a fucking joke. Okay, I guess the three things would be context, intent, and time, I guess. Yes, exactly. But, but time is really context. Or, to it's a really, degree, it's, it's that's really, like, it's really subjective. Degree. That's like chronological context. Like, where like, does it fall in like time? The, yeah, Cali context, yeah, that falls into context. Like, the California, the, the, there's like a school shooting that went on in California today, right? It's like a school shooting today? that went to California. Yeah, you feel right. Today it yeah. happened? Yeah. What? Yeah. And if, if people were making jokes about that, that would be in poor taste. If people were talking about, well, you know, if they weren't too busy stuffing their face with avocado sandwiches, they could have avoided the gun kind of, Like, that would be, you know. It's also, it's, yeah, it's yeah. also about the one tweet I ever made that I actually deleted and regretted was the day, like, the hour Robin Williams died. I wrote, uh. This is, this is no flubber. I said, oh, so this means no Mrs. Doubtfire 2. <laughs> and I was like, that was a mean You know, the ironic cool. thing is, there wasn't Mrs. Doubtfire 2. I know, that's why I was saying. I was like, oh, but my point, I was like, that was, <laughs> I didn't sit right. I was like, that's probably not cool. I took it down. All the replies were like, oh. And it wasn't, it wasn't because of that that I took it down. I was just, no, that's. It just wasn't yeah. that. It, it just, but I think intent is funny. If you make a rape joke and a rape victim hears it and they feel bad about it, that sucks, it, but but yeah. there are so many things in the world to be upset about. I but either, telling, either, telling a rape victim, a, like making a joke about go them. Walk up to a rape victim, though they have, have had experiences like that, right. and then say, tell him a rape joke, that is negative, and that, that goes against it. So that's why you... Right, like you see a rape victim, you know they're a rape victim, they slip right, on a banana peel, and you're like, oh, is that how you got raped that last right, time too? Right, right. You but know, if you're, if you're slipping if you're, onto some dick. If you're on stage as a comedian, and you tell jokes like that, and somebody from the audience, that's a completely appropriate context and setting sure. to tell a joke like that, because you're yeah. up there to tell jokes. Yeah, it's just the whole, like, if you can make fun of one thing, how, how are you not allowed to... You know, I mean, whether it's religion well, or whatever. I'll make one quick point before we go on. One quick point. You have two options in life. Option number one is to go into everyone's brains and to tweak everybody's behavior exactly yeah. so that everyone's fine tuned exactly to your behaviors and your mm -hmm. and your your offenses and your you know how you behave. Yeah. You can tweak how everybody behaves as not to offend you, or 
you could just have thick skin. Right. Those are your two options in life. Okay, do one more. You don't get to pick and choose. Mick, what's time. the last question on the questions? All right, last question. Look, there's a lot of these here. Unfortunately, we only got enough time to, to do yeah, one we, last we, question. It's uh, a long podcast. Let's just pick it at random. Let's see. Last one, last one. Okay, here's a short one. Uh, Scars98 asks... How long could you? Oh, how long can you hold your breath? Not really a I could probably question. Do, I, we, I think if I I don't, do you just, actually we count? Just, or just try it. Let's we try can it. just do it. Yeah, let's just do it. Okay, okay. we'll find out. Uh, we'll time. Try. Okay, and Guys, <laughs> that's <laughs> 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 that's all, folks. Do that, <laughs>